But yeah, yo, Carrot Attack Podcast with myself, Daps, Spence and Lamin. Lamin's birthday today, so and he's gone away. Typical Lamin. Spence is coaching right now. Coaches QPR kids. Yeah. So um, it's just me. Guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing. We've got the live show that we've announced 27th of October at Sync London. Um, so yeah, guys, come down, get involved with the normal topics, debates and all of that. And obviously we've got the, the three special guests who are Lyle Taylor, Danielle Carter and Peter Odomwingi. So... Proper lineup, isn't it? Yeah, proper nice. lineup. Yeah, so um, yeah, you guys, just keep getting your tickets. And yes, I know all the tweets and everything. We weren't here last week. I was away on holiday, and everyone was away. Get over it. <laughs> but um, yeah, we got a special guest today. Who we got? It's Leroy, man. How you do? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. We've got Leroy Lita here, man. Leroy, how you been, man? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Just. You know, getting on with life now after football. <laughs> yeah, just hella mellow, man, isn't it? I'm just relaxed. All <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what's it been like for you since you've retired? You mentioned that you've got bare people hitting you up and that. No, it's been good. Like, it's been positive. I've had, like, you know, loads of opportunities come up and do different things, which I'm enjoying. So, mm. yeah, I was a bit worried, you know. But, you know, once I said I'm not playing professional, I'm not in professional football anymore, loads of things come up. Like yourself got in contact. I love doing this kind of stuff, you know, giving them a bit mm. of knowledge back on, on what, what I've experienced. Yeah. Um, how long was that decision, like, in regards to... Probably took me a year. To make? <laughs> yeah, to probably... I was thinking about... I've, the offers I was getting was... When you start getting offers from places like Iran, and like, <laughs> you're like... Yeah, I think... Um, I'm, there's no offers coming in England now. Yeah. Really. And I'm like, you know what? It's time to move on. I've had a great career, so... So you didn't think of even, like, just getting that final big bag... No, no, I've never played for money. So I've never played for money. Every contract I've signed, my agents rang me up. First off, yep, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Done. Mm. So I'd, I'll play for the passion. I'll obviously, you're going to make a living, but just don't, didn't care about that one bit. I just love playing. That's it. All right. What was like the, um, the, the, the weirdest offer you got? Or not weird, but like maddest country? Is it your own? <laughs> Yeah, Iran. I was like, did they even play football? Iran or Iran? One of them. But you see them countries there, though. When they um, when they come in for you, obviously you're coming from England. Mm. Is it their thing to actually offer the crazy, the crazy money in order to get you there? The, the foreigners, when you go to abroad, for so like when the foreigners come here, they get mm. more than the young players coming through there. Yeah, I think most countries like that, you only allowed a certain amount of foreigners. Mm. So yeah, most of the money goes to them, but. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't interested in that one bit, so... Bro, I would have been on that plane, but... Yeah, you would have been probably... A lot of people would have been, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy here, man. So was it, like, one last offer that came, you just thought, you know what, I'm done? Yeah, I was I was hoping I'd get something back here, but mm. I didn't really want to go down the route playing on it. I think I'm st- I was still motivated to play high level, but mm. the offers weren't there, so, you know, I just got to be honest with myself and just move on from that. You don't want to play? Come to my team, man. Harringay. I'll play local with, uh, with my friends and that. That's not Come Harringay, man. You're bag. <laughs> you're bag. Nico dropped down to our league this year. Yeah. yeah. He's playing for your team? No, no, no. He's playing in our league, though. Yeah. And he's flipping... <laughs> yeah. Scoring. Bagging. Yeah. I think he's top goal scorer in the league so far. He's just yeah. jolly up for him. Good, good finish, right, isn't he? So. I think he's a jolly up for him. So what? Where did it all start from you, man? Because you didn't... um, You didn't sign till late, innit? Um, got picked up by Chelsea when I was. 11, when, you, when you signed your first pro? First pro, eighteen. Oh, eighteen. As soon as I turned eighteen, yeah. So I was I was playing in the first team as a YT. So mm. I broke through at seventeen at Bristol City after I got released from Chelsea. I was playing the youth team for a year, and then got opportunity in the first team preseason the year after. What would you say was your first big like break in terms of like your breakthrough season? Breakthrough season. Probably my first full season, like starting at Bristol City, that was my breakthrough season because I was the Brian Tinian was my teammate, mm. and um, Danny Wilson got sacked, and they took Brian as manager. He said, "You're definitely playing for me next year," because they left me out of the playoff final. Yeah, uh, totally out of the squad. I was in tears because we went to the Millennium Stadium at the time twice in two years. Yeah, and. I was out of the squad both times and I was so devastated and obviously uh, frustrated and Brian took over and said, right, you're going to play for me next season. I was played every game. I was you thought that with the manager? 
No, I was just young. I was mm. eight. He, he liked a senior player at the time, Danny Wilson. Yeah. Um, I, I think for the playoff final, I was the only striker fully fit and I wasn't on the bench. So, and the Bristol City fans were mad. Yeah. And um, you know what? They were brilliant for me. For a young boy moving up, moving down there and like the support they gave me was unreal. Mm. They, you know, it was, it was, I, I fell in love with them fans. They loved me there as well, and, which was great. So when the when the next club came in, was it a hard decision to go? Or was it no? Not really, because um, my Higher my dream level. my dream was to play in the Premier League. So when um, Reading come in, I think Burnley come in at the same time as well. But I was mm. I was interested at the time, and I don't think they offered the money what Bristol City wanted. Wanted uh, Reading offered the money, Bristol one, and I went. The um, head chief scout came down, picked me up. I was thinking, right, these, they really want me in it. Mm. <laughs> so I got in the car with him. He drove me down, had my medical, um, signed my contract, blah, blah, blah. Drove me back to pack my bags because I had just moved in my, my apartment in Bristol. Mm. I was only there three months, my first place I bought. And I, I, was, I was a bit sad to leave, but I was more excited about going to play in the championship with Red. Your life must have just changed it completely, just with that one move to um, the championship. I mean, I didn't, see, see, I don't... I, people expect you to, like... Don't get me wrong, I had fun outside mm. football, but I did. I couldn't <laughs> switch off. That. Whatever I did, I was thinking about football. Whatever mm. I did, no matter what I was doing, I was always. It's just, it's just hard to switch off. Um, my life changed, yeah, with obviously what comes with that, but that's part of the game. And but I was just more excited about playing in championship, testing myself at that level, see if I could do what I did in uh, League One mm. at the time. And you know what? We got promoted in our first year. Yeah. So, Did you, know, you notice the difference though when you when you walked into the club? Like, yeah. You notice the difference yeah. in levels. The training group was, was more set up. You mm. know what I mean? As a not saying nothing wrong with Bristol City, but back then not everyone had a training ground. Sometimes you're here, you're different places. But yeah, really, I really, I was really like taken in with the setup and how everyone was. Yeah, and it was, it was a weird one because you. I felt like you did well at, well at um, Reading. And then when I saw you go to Charlton, I was like, what's, what's going on here? Like, like what, what, happened, what happened there? Well, as like your career is short. I played nearly 500 games in my professional career. Mm. If I didn't go on loan, I wouldn't play for months. So I said to um, Steve Koppel, I, I, I'm not sitting on the bench. To, the team's doing well, so mm. can I go on loan? First he said, no, it took a while. But then he came to me, you can go on loan. But he only go to one team because Pardew was his mate. Yeah. <laughs> and <he laughs> Pardew was his mate. And I went, you know, it's London and South London, isn't it? Mm. I'm going, Charlton is a good club. I'll go there. Went down, in the play. I was there for what? I think two, three months. So it's not even that you like fell out? No, I didn't fall out. I just said, wanted to play. I wasn't, weird. I don't understand. There's some players who've been in the game like 15 years and some of them are struggling to say they played 100 games. I'm like, mm. I, I don't want that. I was like, no chance. I'm going on loan because I, I went there and I was playing every week. So that, that, that's that's the most important thing. I don't understand players who can just relax on the bench or just like that. There's just, you're a professional footballer. You want to play now. So, so that's never ever come to you, like, even at the back end where... You could just chill. Yeah, you could just chill. No, no. no. Even when I moved to Swansea, um, I, was, I knew I came in as number two, but mm. I thought, yeah, okay, fair enough. Who's number one striker? Though? Danny Graham was number one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah. Brenda Rogers signed me, telling, told me, you're coming uh, as backup. I was like, okay, we'll see. But, mm. <laughs> yeah. But I got in the team, scored on my de full debut. We had Chelsea next week. And the, my teammates were saying to me, you know what's going to happen, isn't it? Danny Graham. Yeah, he's gonna, no, it's not, we got Chelsea. They played me. Because it's it's a it's a nothing game for us mm. really. No one expected us to win. Yeah. So the truth is, if we lose, he could change the team. So it made sense for him to put. But, but I understood all that. But yeah, that was off. Was Swansea after Just, Middlesbrough? Yeah, after Middlesbrough. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, was after, yeah. it was after Middlesbrough. Yeah, yeah. I was. Oh yeah, very quickly on Brendan Rodgers. He, obviously now he's with Leicester. Yeah, doing good things. Did you notice or could you see that he was gonna? become a top manager from the get-go. Yeah, yeah, it's very organised and training was brilliant. Like, the, the level, the tempo every day was mm. unreal. You know, I'm giving props for that. It's brilliant. He like, 
you could see how passionate he was. He want he is about coaching and wanting to prove players and stuff like that. So yeah, he's a top manager and not I'm surprised he's not uh, in Spain yet. So because that's his that was his dream when I met him and sat down. What to go to Spain? When I left Reading, yeah, he took over as red um took over as Reading manager. Mm. I was a free transfer. I met him in a hotel. We had a conversation. He wanted me to come back. Signing, yeah. signing for Reading again. I was like, oh, I've been there for years. I'll think about it. I've been there four years and I want to move on. That's when I yeah. went. Bro. Yeah, I sat down with him. His dream is, he said to me, was to manage in um, Spain. That's why I'm surprised he's not there yet. I mean, but he will be, I think, not long. I was about to say, maybe yeah. like after this Leicester move. In yeah. fact, you know what? I don't know, you know, because I think he, he speaks does, Spanish fluently. If, so, oh, he's really ready yeah, to go yeah. there. Though. He's ready. He's been ready for years. <laughs> speak Spanish fluently. Like, so he's a very intelligent man. But do you think he would manage like a a mid table club in Spain? I don't think. I think he'll go. I think the the big one of the big three. No, games, super, I, I wouldn't no. surprise. I wouldn't be surprised. They know that he's on their radar. He'll be on their radar hundred percent because there's no. If he he speaks Spanish fluently, mm. so and people see what he's done in. I done that for Swansea. What he done? He's done at Celtic. You know, we'll see, and what he's doing now. So it won't be long. Mm. Trust me, remember I said that. It won't be long. Uh, listeners, you're hearing this. Brendan Rodgers to a big three in, um, in One Spain. One big three wouldn't surprise me. So. It would, nah. Mm. Yeah, Simeone goes, say, maybe Atletico. You'll see. I couldn't, I couldn't see Madrid or You'll Barca. see, you'll see. You'll see. Nah, 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 nah. But I'm not having that shot. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> um, Danny Graham, though. That's, yeah. a good, that's a good one. Yeah. He didn't really look like... I mean, he scored goals, but he didn't really look very... Good that. player, mate. He's a good player. I think what sometimes TV don't you if, if you watch someone I train with him every day for two I, I, years. I, I was so. just about to say that because he, he gets goals, hundred yeah, percent. Gets goals. Good finisher. Good finisher. His movements quality. He's got good movement as well, and his link up plays not bad. So he's good. He's a very good player, mate. Well, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I was expecting you to come in. And be like, no, I was betting him. I was better. Yeah. I was better. Yeah. <laughs> don't get it wrong. I was better, but I just didn't get the opportunity. So. It's all good. I, f- I'm, I think I'm a better striker back then. All <laughs> so, so good. I'll tell him. He, he thinks that too. Hey, what, he thinks it? He told my mates that. that <laughs> now, because we used to chill together and um, yeah, like some of the stuff I was doing in training, he couldn't believe I was, he was keeping me out of the team. He, mm. said, he said that to my friend. So, why, why do you think that is though? Do you he think was playing just... and the team was doing well. So, And I think when a manager has their team set up, mm. don't want to mess too, thing, too many things up. So, he came in with a plan. He stuck to it. The manager, so you got respect that. Okay. Do you have um? You had Britain in your team, innit? Leon Britain, yeah. What was he like? He's coming on there. Yeah, he just does it, is he? Yeah, he's yeah, coming yeah. On. South London boy as well, isn't he? Yeah, um, he yeah he doesn't lose the ball. They just don't lose the ball. In training as well. In training, he might not like put the striker through or anything like that, but giving the ball, but he'll he'll take care of that ball for mm. you and keep get things going. Yeah, he's brilliant in training. Nobody got the ball off him. Nobody. Not one person. Would you say he was the most one that probably t- most talented footballer at Swansea? Would you? Not talent. I don't think he's the most talented. He's just really good at what he done. Efficient. Yeah, yeah. Just don't give away the ball, which mm. is important for a midfielder. I just I can't remember. I don't have a picture of him losing the ball. Like it's, I remember in training, he used to just absolutely boss everything. Like mm. just the ball comes to him, you try and close him down, play one. He's 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 a very good player. Who would you say he was one of your best? Um, would you say that was that your best time in football? That's no, no. My, my best time within the club? Yeah. Yeah. But not, I wasn't playing. So. Yeah. But I, I got on with everybody there. I think we had a good group. Mm. So. Because that Brendan Rodgers team was good. Yeah, yeah, I think we all pushed each other. We had a good group. And um, that was that was the best time like that. But I wasn't playing. So it wasn't that great for me. Mm. But as a, as a group, we was all together and pushing each other. When you were at Swansea, was um, the right defender... Age. No, 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 no. Um, was Ashley Williams there? Yeah, yeah. How was he? Yeah, he's good, man. Yeah, he's a madman. Yeah, I was just about yeah. to say he comes across as a yeah, bit of a yeah, madman. Yeah, he's. Um, I mean, when he tried to we all kick off Van Persie's head. Nah, he's um, he's a good defender. You know, he's solid and uh, yeah, he was he was top. He was top. If he, <laughs> I know he played for Wales, but at the time, I was like, this guy. If he if he would wait a bit longer, <laughs> mm. he would have been absolutely hundred percent in England squad. You think so? Yeah. He's at that time. I think he was good for like two years, I reckon. Doesn't matter because he yeah. chose well. So yeah. he's from Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> Brum. 
Bro, Would you have chosen England if they if they come? To come Who, me? Yeah, I did. Uh, no, they, I mean like if they were well, senior, yeah, senior. Oh, absolutely, because I learned football. I learned to play football when I come here. So everything I know about football is in England. So my dream was to do that. I got called up by Congo mm. um, when I was at Borough. Um, they named me in the squad, and my club were asking me if I'm going. I'm like. No. <laughs> I'm like, no, well, don't, they, don't they contact you before that? Exactly. That's what I thought. I ain't had no call then. And I was just seen on the internet my name on the list. I was like, what? Then the club was saying, Are you going to go? I went, no. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I was only 24, 25 at the time. So so you had no interest in playing for Congo? No, because I learned to play football here. I thought, I think some of my family wanted me to, but I was like, I wanted to play for England. So but I looking up, back now, would you no, still? I think no, because my target was to play for England. I wouldn't I wouldn't have changed it for nothing. So So I if mean, you if you'd known your England career would have gone like how it went in yeah, terms of international yeah. like with hindsight, would you play for Congo? No. Right, you just really weren't on playing for Congo. No, no, it wasn't that about that. My focus I learned everything how to play football here. Mm. So from a kid, my mindset's been right, get to the Premier League and then one day get get that England show. I've mm. never I I'm I am i can not do that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't just Say, right, I'm going to play for Congo. No, I couldn't because everything I learned was in England. In how, does, how does it work with, like, the call-ups? Do you literally just... I still could have had, up, up at that time because I only played 21s. Mm. I'm not sure if you played it. No, if you played 21s. Competition. You can, no, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, 21s. Yeah, so can... I still could have, and I didn't. Mm. So I, my focus was that. That was it. Yeah. How does, how does the whole call-up thing work with, like, let's say... England come up so you, is, does a squad get named and then you see your name or do well, you, you get you get, you get um, a call you get you get a call well how did I get my first one my first England at 21 call up I was in living in Bristol I was um, I was at Bristol City obviously and um, mm. I was I was just watching TV and um, I had a call from my mobile number I didn't know and it was Carol I think her name was Carol the same um, F1 and the FA That's the, I swear same everyone, one Carol yeah. Day Everyone, the everyone's same, always talking about woman, this Carol, yeah. Carol woman. Yeah, yeah. She called me. I'm like, hello. <laughs> she said, oh, yeah. Um, you've been selected for the under 21 squad. I mm. think someone dropped out. And literally, within an hour, there's a car outside for me. Within an hour, a car outside for me. Off he pop up to Derby. Go in the hotel, met everyone. Uh, who was the manager at the time? Peter Taylor at the time. And said, welcome, welcome to the squad. And trained the next day. A couple of days of training. Then we played Holland. Came on for, I think, Darren Bent or mm. Cole or Cole, one of them. Maybe Dean Ashton, actually, well, I think. Um, came on and scored. Yeah. <laughs> so When you look at some of the players that you played with in the under-21s and the ones that went on and and then went and played for senior, yeah. do you look at them and think, I could have, like... <sighs> well, uh, well there's, there's a bit more, there's politics into it as well. Because um, when I was flying, I think I had 10 in... 10 in 10 for club and country mm. for the 21s. And they called up Dave Nugent for it and he came in the championship. <laughs> so I, so there's a bit more, more to it than that. They called up um, Dave Nugent who was playing in the championship. Well, you saw that. What, what were you thinking when you saw that? I was just like, surely this, 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 I thought if you do well in the Prem, yeah. Look at everyone now. They, some players are playing what? They play four games and they're in the squad. Mm. Look them out. He's Dude, played three games. Mings as well. Yeah, three games now. Mings has been playing. For, he's a bit more established. Oh, you, oh, you mean I'm that? I'm like four games yeah. in the Premier League and you're in the... I was like 10 in 10 at a time and they called up a strike from the Championship. Mm. So, come on, man. Well, I couldn't do any more. So, I don't know where that holds. And But yeah, <laughs> when you're playing football, is it hard to speak out against You can't things? say nothing because it goes against you no matter what. Yeah, everybody knows that. There's players, that's what's the most frustrating thing. Players are, can't say what they really want now because everyone will be, they'll get this and that. People saying, it, oh, we're not happy with him. A lot of players, they probably have to hold a lot and you have to hold a lot of things in. But I haven't for some, some time, but I've said it to the people I need to say it to. Mm. You know, I, mean? I've only, I haven't gone public and said it. So, but a lot of players now, they know, I, I know, you can see they... Look at the answers are always the same. Mm. Everyone's answers are the same. I know, and I think that's that's the thing that um whereas where podcasting comes into it yeah. and it allows us to actually talk to people properly, but talking to people who are in their prime mm. 
It's so hard. Don't, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's so hard. They'll, get into, they'll slip up on one thing they'll say mm. and it, it can go against them. So I, I respect why they, you have to respect that they can't be freely. They have, they're have. they not going to come here freely speaking because they're thinking, I can't say certain things. I can't let certain things out because it's that okay, that's, that's why everyone comes out with a book mm. or something yeah, like that. On. Let it all out. They're going to get a book. We'll see down the line. I need to achieve more, man. Life, personal mm. life, football's done. Now I just need to achieve a lot more things in my personal life. Okay, cool. Do you so, think the um, whole not speaking out goes against you because of like the media will get onto you and target you, or within football will it tarnish your name? Both, both within football. Um, no one likes anyone who step steps out of the the program. How you're meant to be. Were you yeah. always within the... Nah. The, exactly. No. no. I'm, I'm not one of them who used to go finish training and go home and sit on the sofa and mm. play on my PlayStation. What kind of life is that, man? Yeah. And then go see... Nah, that's, that's not... I still enjoy my... Go and see people go places. Um, that's why I got got a lot of trouble because I remember my, when I was at Reading, my, the director called my agent at the time, Sky, and I had to go and meet them in this um, hotel. I was like... Well, I'm signing a deal or, yeah. or whatever. I figure, yeah, something. Oh, I got a move coming. Yeah. Like, they pull me to this hotel to tell me where to go out and where not to go out. I was like, really? You could have just texted me. Yeah. Like this, I'm bringing me to a hotel and then having a meeting for what? I was like, come on, man, get out of here, man. I'm going to go where I want to go. I was about to say, you, you didn't listen to that <laughs> no one. No chance. You come didn't on, listen man. to that one. Yeah. What were you, some of your favorite spots back in the day in London? My spots are. I love Bashment Raves. Don't know why, because it's proper. <laughs> I used to go to, there was one in Reading. The like, hood things. Yeah, nah, yeah, because uh, then I had to slow down with them because people started uh, targeting you. And, mm. So you can't chill there. Um, yeah, I used to love Bashment Raves and stuff like that. I used to go to ones in Peckham. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> Brixton, I used, to be, you know, the, I used to be in the spots and like, but then the club will find out, but and I say, oh, you can't go there. Blah, blah. I'm like, why not? How would they find out though? In Peckham? Come on, I don't know, man. There's always some snake or someone who knows. There's some football club, they can find out anything. So yeah, I used to go out. <laughs> loads of me and my boys, um, one of my best friends, pals, Dan, he's from South as well. We used to go everywhere, like all mm. the thing. I think I loved it. I don't know what I mean. I just it's my it was my thing. That's what I listened to. That's what I enjoyed. Mm. My thing wasn't staying at home and playing on my PlayStation yeah. or playing Championship Manager. It was when I was young. Mm. When I got to an age where I could like, enjoy my life a bit, I, I, I did. At what point though is it like? Now, at what point did you notice that you were under more scrutiny? Because obviously at Bristol you were young, so you could just possibly just Bristol. Do it I got like. looked after. Mm. Um, Bristol got protected when I moved to Reddit I think I started noticing it then because as I said I would go places mm. they don't expect to see footballers there yeah no one that's like, what you said Peckham I was like yo yeah, yeah. They don't I stopped Peckham of today yeah, you know? yeah. back then yeah. well, you, it, <laughs> in it it's different Mate. so um, yeah, and I started noticing it at Reddit because of the staff size but the director was pulling me and telling me to, to, telling me where to go and stuff like mm. that. I was like, nah, nah this, this is not my thing. I'll go where I feel comfortable and where I enjoy myself. That's it. I just, but I ignored that. Mm. I didn't want to see my, I did like, at training, Yeah. Steve Coppel said to me, he pulled me and said, Leroy, wherever you go, just imagine you got your camera on your shoulder. Mm. I get it. But that, if I'm walking around with a camera on my shoulder, I ain't leaving my house. Yeah. So, I was, I get why he's trying to look out for me, but I wasn't really, I wasn't really one, as I said, to sit down and play PlayStation, man. But would you say, yeah, that because you're just like a free spirit, that's where you maybe got in trouble? The only trouble I ever got in, never hurt no one. Mm. When I, for instance, when I was at Bristol City, out of all my clubs, I've had one fight with a teammate. Yeah, Who was that with? Um, Steve Brooker. He was my strike partner mm. at uh, Bristol. We went out Cheltenham races yeah. as a team. You know, a lot of teams do that. Mm -mm. So we got back to Bristol. Um, we was chilling. And he kept saying, he's talking to me about something happened, blah, blah, blah. And he kept repeating the word nigger to me. Oh, really? So I, am I allowed to swear on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> and um, he kept repeating. I said, like, all right, oh, cool. I, I said, all right, Brooks, cool, man. Don't worry. He said, yeah, but I won't call you in, nigger. Oh. I'm like, Brooks, come on. Leave it, man. 
brother, I must have been there about five, ten minutes trying to calm this. That is just... Like, and he, he would go, all right, right, I lost my head. And I, I went, right, let's go outside, yeah? All my teammates holding me down. And I said, you lot can hold me as long as you want. Mm. But as soon as you let, as soon as you let go of me, I'm going to get Clayton Fortune. He knows me well. Yeah. You must have heard of Clayton Fortune. John yeah, yeah. Fortune's cousin. He goes, fuck's sake, just let him go then. Just let him go. Tucked him in. Next day. <laughs> ne- bust his face. Ne- Yo, next day we went into the, we got called into training. Um, manager's office. And I'm sitting there with his black eye. And you know what the, t- the coach is said to him? Oh, just, just let's uh, just apologize and shake hands. I said, hey, shake his hand. I walked out of the room. So I said, I've warned him. It's his own fault. But you look were cool before that, yeah? I was not, well, not, but it's cool. It's football, like, really? Yeah, like, yeah. Just yeah. Like, it's, it's my teammate. Yeah. And then after that? After that, we played together, never spoke. Never spoke again. I think he moved, I moved like that summer anyway. I mm. moved to Reddit. Have you so. seen him since or spoken to him? I, I, I think I might have played against him, but I've not spoken to him since. I don't think he, I don't think he, he would want to. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that's that's a that's a funny story. Yeah, so that's the only trouble. And other stuff. Were you talking trouble? Um, so the only trouble goes. I uh, wasn't sooner. Okay, cool. A couple of times I've been out. Uh, <laughs> one time I got arrested for pulling my friend in Newcastle. I got arrested. Just got out. Been out for like twenty five minutes. Mm. One of my mates was um, a bit drunk. Pulled yeah. him to the side, and then the policeman, the, the policeman, and uh, the policeman said. Get him out fucking road. I went, yeah. all, right, all right, I'm getting him. Don't be an idiot. Mm. Boom. Rested. That's what I got arrested for. That's it. That's all I got arrested for. They put me in a cell. I ain't even had, I, I ain't even had a drink yet. They arrested me for drunken disorder. I hadn't even had a one drink yet. What sure they like, got that breathalyzer? You know? they, they didn't even do that. They've just put, sat me in a cell and let me out in the morning. Okay, that cool. Was it. Early hours in the morning, at like four in the morning. The boys were still out. Then I went and met them. Okay, because I read talk about the whole match fixing thing. <laughs> On some website. What in um, Greece? Was it was it Greece? No, not not you match fixing. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. no. Just just your stance on on match match. Oh, you thought I was talking about you match? No, fixing. I was like, what? Coming to just taint your yeah. image. <laughs> I left. I left the club because of that. Which uh, which club was that? When I was in Greece, the chairman came in and told us, or told the, the ones that speak Greek about. I had the one who the one of the players who sat next to me spoke English. I said, what's he saying? Mm. So that. Uh, the chairman just said, no one tackled today, no yellow cards. And he's told one of the players, when the ball's gone out, just smash out for a corner for them, even if there's no one here. I went, what? He said, yeah, that's what he said. And um, I, was, I was thinking, maybe he's lost it. He's got his word, words wrong. Mm. <laughs> First half, the other team have knocked the ball over the top. It's going out for a goal kick. The centre half sprints, kicks out for a corner. I went, okay, he weren't lying. And, uh, that's, and uh, I play. I think I played one more game after that. Now I had we played in Olympiacos in the cup away, mm. and the goals that we conceded, you could tell players were yeah to get paid to do. It. I, after that, I said nope, no more. I'm going. So if it wasn't for that, we'd just stayed. What? If it wasn't for that, we'd just stayed. Well, well, you play football to win, no? Mm. <laughs> so you got your own team. Is you what chance you got? Your own team is helping the other team. What chance you got? I was like, forget this, man. I ain't got time for this. But when they're there saying that, like, do all of that. It's not. As, it's not even as if the money comes to you. It got, no, no. If they do what they say, they pay the players individual bonuses for mm. doing certain things. It's nonsense, man. I was like, still happens out there now. And the, the couple of the big, big two, well, Panathinaikos uh, control the league basically, or Olympiakos, one of the. Yeah. So, yeah, it's nonsense. It's not, you don't. It's not what you want to be a part of. And I had enough, and I left. So. Oh wow. Yeah. No. And then. After Olympiacos, what was it? That's towards the back end now, right? Why did yeah. you decide to go to um, Greece? I don't know. I felt was when the, mm, I didn't have many offers at the time. The ones I did, I didn't fancy. And, uh, Ain't thought, it crazy well, though, yeah, how you can play Prem and like, score goals in Prem? It's not like you're just a mm, token player in the Prem. Yeah. And then you struggle to... like. Yeah, it happens. It's, 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 that's, that's football. So, um, But then certain players will play Prem... All their life, not score any goals, not do anything. Yeah, but, well, they're doing something else, right? Aren't they? So I don't know what it is, but yeah. Um, People base, like, like Connor Wickham. I read the other day that he signed a new contract. He hasn't played for about two years, and he signed a new. Co- well, who's his agent? I mean, there's there's, <laughs> there's loads of things I go to. His agent might be the manager's agent. You just you can look on the internet and you, mm. you can trace it, and you'll know. So it's not it's not it's not rocket science. Did you ever like blame your agent though? I never blame my my. I was with Sky 
when I first turned pro. When you say Sky, Sky it? Andrews. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was with Skyler Andrews. Mm. I'll say it properly. I was with him. Um, and then, well, I got with him because of his assistant. Mm-hmm. And Cos, he was my agent for my whole career. And like, I, I dealt with Cos, everything. And it was um, Sky's company, but Cos was my main guy to go to. We speak about things, something comes up. And when he left Sky, I went, I followed him, same person. So, was there ever yeah. a time that where he's told you about a move that, that looking back, you feel like you maybe should have gone? No, I'm trying to think. When I went Borough, living up there, was hard because mm. I was driving. I was driving back. Like I finished training. Yeah. Driving straight back down, having my dinner, wherever, and leaving at four in the morning and to get back up for training. Yeah, I couldn't live up there. I had a house and that up there. I just couldn't stay there. I was so bored. How long was that journey? Sometimes it'd take four hours, five hours, sometimes like that. Yeah. So I would leave at four just to make sure I get there until I would get there. But Eight, half eight, just chilling in the training ground. And you're doing that every day? I was doing that three times a week. Thursday, Friday, I chilled. (laughs) Yeah, so. Just because you didn't want to live up there? I couldn't, I couldn't. It got to a point I just got bored. And I was so far from everywhere. I lived in between Newcastle and Middlesbrough. So, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was just bored. I was proper bored. I was up there on my own as well, so I was bored. So So were you just like, you know what? I'm not doing this. No, I'm not. Like, Finish training, boom, back in the car, straight down. I don't know, that's, I don't know how I did it. I had so much energy, though, to be fair. Mm. So, yeah. No, and, that's, that's... and the Sunday nights out, <laughs> taxi back up to Borough for training. <laughs> 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 I can just imagine you. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday night, was Sunday my day, night. man. Aura, man. Oh, Aura was that, was a, that was a good club, man. Ah, good news, I was not missing that any week. That was week a good club, man. Yeah, so. Yeah, I used to do oh, that. Trust me. It's not the same anymore. No, nah, no. Nah, it's, it's, we're, old, we're older now, so it's different now. But yeah, so Aura was my spot on a Sunday. So yes. I didn't miss that one unless we had a game Tuesday. So. I remember I remember Aura one time. Mm. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to say I've, I've been a rich man, but mm. I did all right for myself. Mm. But because I grew up in like South London, yeah. I know the, you know, the value of money, yeah. the value of a pound. remember going Aura now. See one one nice girl. Yeah. Said, oh, let's go to like, let me let me get you a drink. If I knew now, if I knew then what I know now about these girls up in Aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. I went to buy her a drink now. She, she, oh. And they showed me the um thing. I saw 28 pounds. Yeah, yeah, for one drink. For one <laughs> <laughs> I saw 28 pounds. Yeah. I, I was thinking, listen, you might have to have, have that drink. Get that number to meet her in a week, bro. <laughs> Bruh, oh, let me not even start. Let me never go. Yeah, Aura was yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a it's a different crowd. Them, them girls are looking for something else. But, <laughs> I, but when I'm out, also with my boys, listen, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm there to have fun. I, I'll be the first one to leave though. Mm. And I'll just it come to a time. I'm like, right, taxi home, whatever I need to do. I'm gone, and everyone will be ringing. Wait, I'm in a car on the way home. Man. That's it. Did you ever fight you with Carlton? Huh? You- oh, Carlton. <laughs> I grew up with Carlton, man. We was at Chelsea. I was at Chelsea with Carlton as kids. That guy, man, he's forever late, man. Forever late. <laughs> but yeah, Carlton's fun, man. He's, uh, a, good, he's a good guy, man. One of the best nights I had was, was with him. What did he even take? Was he, did he take me out of Miami as well, I think? When, when I first went to Miami, I think. It was one of them man showed me the, all the spots and that. Yeah, Carlton knows a lot of people. in Everywhere in the world. This guy knows everybody in the world. It's crazy. But he's a good bloke and funny as well. No, no, decent guy. He was supposed to come on as well. Yeah, you get him on. Yeah, you need to get him on. Um, tell him, tell him, tell him twelve o'clock now if you want him at one. <laughs> no, 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 I know. That's why. He, that's why like he hasn't been on. Okay. Because one time we was meant to be on that, and then yeah. um, call him, call him, call yeah. him, and he just he was just like, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be late. I was like, yeah. oh, cool, cool. No worries. But, but then, bro, talking about an hour or two late, yeah, and I'm yeah. just like, you know what? It's fine. Next time. Next time, but no, we'll definitely, we'll definitely get him on. Yeah. Do you, do you have that like, many friends in football that you've made or um, close? Yeah, I've got fr- I've, not ever. I've got probably Wayne Routledge, probably him and Danny Gray and my girl. Really well. Cameron, still, yeah. Still I just went to watch them against QPR a couple of weeks ago and seen all the staff from it. Um, Cameron, I was with the other day. He's, he was over Cameron Jerome. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. He was over for treatment. He's getting treatment in Reading. And he came down, we met up and went for dinner and stuff like that. What's Danny Graham doing now? He's at Blackburn. He's still playing? Yeah. So he's at Blackburn. He's been there about three years now. Yeah, so. No, I remember he was at Blackburn. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't still think there, he was still. Yeah, still there. Still there. Still there. He's been done he's, well last year. He's still season. tucking. Yeah, he's still scoring, mate. He's doing well. So, yeah, he's still up there. How old is he? 30. He turned 34 last month. How old are you? 34. 35 next um, December. But surely you can still do it, man. Yeah, but it's, you have to be, have the mindset and ready to, and have the opportunity there. Mm. So there's nothing there. What, what am I going to do? Wait wait for one another year or something? Nah, you, you can't be out of the game that long and then come back in. So what, were I'm, you literally waiting a year for something to come uh, in? I've, something that I wanted to do. Mm. But I wasn't going to go abroad again. I remember being yeah. in Thailand and Greece and I was like, uh, I need to be home now. Hopefully get something here. And nothing nothing concrete came up. And as I said, I just called it a day. I had to. What sort of offers were you getting from here, though? No, not great ones. Like, non-league yeah. level and stuff like that. I was like, I could still play in the league, but there's nothing coming. Everyone, the game's changed. Everyone wants young players in now. Even though I could have still easily done a job, better job than most players they, mm. that are there. But that's not how it works. People want young players. So I can sell them off or move up. You know what I mean? It's not about. I think you don't you don't care for playing for money, innit? No, I, was, I just wanted to you know play in a, play in a league somewhere. It yeah. Would be nice, but nothing great came up, so I just said, you know what? Let's do other things. I've got the rest of my life to live, and you know, it's got to be honest. It's a tough decision because I've spoke spoke to a few people who've been through it. It's not easy, trust me. Mm. When you've been playing football, when you've had football in your brain since you was twenty um, for twenty four years, whatever, yeah. since you was. 10 years old it's it's like oof. it's a bit of a shock but you know what you 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 line up a few other things and you, it keeps your mind fresh and busy and active so I'm happy with it so okay because I was, I was just thinking that a lot of players like they don't mind playing non-league mm. because I think the stigma around non-league has slightly changed now I'm not it's not about the stigma the stigma stigma for me like mm. um, it's just I set my standards high. Mm. So if I think I can play at a higher level and I'm not getting an opportunity, then I'm like, I'm, I, was be, I was patient. Yeah. So, and then I was like, the, the only office I'm getting is from Iran. I'm like, rah. <laughs> Come on. It's all right. Cool. You've had a great career. Look back. Move on now. Look back. You've done well. You achieved your, your, your dream. It was to play in the premiership. Premiership. And I did that. So... You know so what? if if a League Two team came in for you, would you would you have gone now? Yeah, would, no, not now. No. Like before you return. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So if, if there's a a conference club who look like they're going to get promoted, sure thing they're mm. going to get promoted, and they came in for you, would you have given it a go, or would you have been I, like, I, 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 I had a few um, conference offers at the time. I went and played for Margate, Margate just to keep yeah. fit. And um, while I was waiting for something, I, I, I didn't sign a contract. I wasn't getting paid. I was just mm. going down and play, training and playing with them. So, what was it like down the market? Yeah. They got a good, good fan base as well. They get, they get oh, yeah. They, they, quite a few I, people I, started, I played there Sunday as a kid, innit? So, mm. um, yeah. Yeah, they're right down there. They, 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 I think they got a new manager now. I think they're hopefully probably mid table this year. So, mm. we'll see. I don't think they're ready to push for any promotion or anything yet. Who do you actually support? Chelsea. Is that because that's where you started? Or? Nah. Nah, just South London. I lived in Clapham, didn't I? So, oh, okay. That's, um, is that your local? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone thinks I'm Arsenal because my hero's here. I'm not going to lie. I really thought you nah, were an Arsenal nah, fan. Nah, nah, Ian Wright's my hero. 100%. Is, mm. that's, that's not you know what's funny? A lot of people that support Arsenal, Ian Wright's the reason, yeah. the reason for I that. I don't support them, bro. Should have come to Chelsea, innit? Nah He turned us down didn't he Nah right, Rightly so Nah no He's great He's great. He done great for you guys man he's Absolute legend how, how, you looking, how are you looking at Chelsea's um, season I think it's a free year for us you know It's just like No expectation No man. because It's nice to see though It's nice to see them Pushing the young English players as well Because mm. The last one 20 years Well it's come in 20 years Been John Terry Like Fully established Now Lampard's got a free year I think If he but that, but that's because the whole really transfer thing yeah, yeah and now he just has to use the youth which is great to see because I like, Chelsea never do that yeah you know what I mean so I'm happy about it I think it's it's good for the club we're in the Champions League so 
you know, again, we're going to see good football. I don't, I'm don't, i not sure about top four or anything like that, but we'll see. What do you think of Mason Mount? Well, I've only seen, I've not watched him like mm. live or anything like that. So what I've seen is clips. Clips is good. Clips, he looks like a good player. He knows he's a good midfielder. It looks like he's going to do well for us. But yeah, I would, I'd like to see a bit more like close up. Like when I go to games, I'll make a new. I'll make my own yeah. um, judgment on him then. Do you, do you still get to that? Well, yeah. obviously you got free time, but do you watch a lot of football? Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. I watch football all the time. So I just, I love watching. Don't get me wrong. I've not fallen out. I love it. I think mm. um, the banter between, when I watch it with my friends, like the banter between the boys and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just, you can't, money can't buy that stuff. You know what I mean? So I always loved being around there and watching it. Who do you think's got the league this year? Uh, I don't, I don't, Sorry, if you're your Arsenal, aren't you? So I don't want Liverpool to win it. That's it. Yeah. I've got too many mates. So from London, it's Sport Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool. They're the worst. Dicko, for one. Ah, oh, the worst fans. Come on, man. How are you from London and Sport Liverpool? Oh, my the, dad. The worst blah, fans. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I, I had people in the group telling me yesterday that, yeah. that, that Milner's a better left back than any Arsenal left back. And Milner's better than Pepe. that, though. Milner's better than Pepe. And I, I was yeah. just. Ugh, just they're calling Pepe rubbish. Hey, Milner could do a job left back though. One hundred percent. Over the course of the season, I don't. Nah, I, don't nah. I don't know though. Yeah, he could. He would. Over the course of the season, nah. you think Milner will be a good? He could do it. I don't think so. Yeah. I think he'll do a job for a couple of games, but yeah. he could he, yeah, easily, easily. You play against? You must have played against Milner. Play with him. No, don't tell me. Twenty ones. Yeah. Oh, twenty ones. Yeah, yeah. I see what club was that. Yeah. Could you see he was going to have a long career? In... Um, he's just yeah, he's. <laughs> It doesn't. I think he's got better. Mm. When I, I think he's better now than I think when I play with because we went to they, he kept Routledge out of the team. Mm. No one really understood it. Yeah, uh, we had um, actually Young on the left and Milner playing, but he was in that in that program, mate, where he's going to be pushed as fast as possibly uh, possible. So, but this is what I'm saying. That, that little program, yeah. like. At the time, can you see that going on? Yeah, players know. Because we will say, why is he... Everyone knows. But no one... We just... You know what's going to happen. Mm. Ask any player. They tell you right now, you have to be in the... I don't know what program, how they do it, but certain players get pushed mm. a lot faster than the ones you expect. Not not because the ones you expect they ain't doing anything good. Mm. They're not doing good stuff. It's just the way it is. And... Then, we all know what that comes down to. And you can't say anything. You can't say nothing. What can you say? As soon as you say, they'll say, oh, yeah. And they'll just make you look like, as soon as a player says something out loud, and people come out to me, they're, they're like, oh, we thought you was like, you thought I was like six foot, blah, blah. Mm. No. Why? Because when, when I've had a fight or something like, got arrested, everyone thinks you're trouble. I don't, I have, mm. don't fight no one, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's, that's to protect myself. Right, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah. How much of that do you think has to do with the fact that you're black? Everything. Okay, cool. Everything. You know, if you'd come and said no. any other thing there, Everything. Yet. What did, come on, man. That's that's not... What I'm getting confused is like, people, they use the saying that football is racist. Mm. Football, football's not racist. Football, do, if anything, football brings people yeah, together. Yeah, you're nice. I've met people from all over the world, mm. like different countries through football. But... People, when people say um, football's racist, it's not. It's the society. The, no, the media fuel it mm-hmm. because you watch when they commentate, right, a black player will get sent off. Oh, that was silly. That was just blah, blah, blah. So neg- everything negative. Mm. Rooney, I watch, you can find a clip. Oh, he just too much passion there. He showed too much desire. He just wanted it. All positive, but he's done the same thing. Yeah. Don't make no sense. We know what that is, but that's not them necessarily. The person saying that that probably doesn't know he's doing that mm. because he's programmed like that. That's how it is. Yeah, people, it's racism taught at home. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not nothing new. It's, how can you tell your kid stay away from black people or do, this kind of people? And well, as as black people, we we get, uh, our parents or whatever tell us you have to when you and this such, but you have to behave like this because they expect you to because they already program to mm. put you down for what you what, for your colour your skin I know and coming into football I know people like to act like like you said that there's no 
There's no issues or whatever. But you see it straight away. Absolutely. It's, I'm not going to sit here and, like, cover no air, but only, there's all these channels and all that, they're doing nothing but fueling it. Mm. You look how they talk about certain players and you know it's there, but everyone's like, oh, it's not just because... Yes, it is. Because mm. you look how... They, look how they talk about... Um, Moe's keen. You know what I mean? Mm. They don't even know the kid. Um, has he got... Man sitting there saying, has he got... Um, have they got a Bible? Has he... We'll find out first. <laughs> you know what I mean? Before you got... then... But then it's just negative. And he says, um, oh, they might, that tells me. Yeah, there's, there's something like, wrong. There's something, like an attitude problem yeah, or something like that. The, the kid's 19. He ain't, probably can't even speak English yet. Mm. You know what I mean? I think... Just let, let, let know about what you're talking about first before you say that's what fuels it. Mm. So when people go now, people are gonna question his attitude. No one even No one even knows. No, it, yeah, yeah. I ain't even I don't even know what his voice is, sounds like. But people, then if he if he kicks out next month, not kicks out, but if he does something they, ne- yeah. next month. Oh f- yeah, because yeah. people can have that remember what things are. Planting the that's seed. That's planting the seed, like fueling it. Mm. People don't realise that's what people like some of these they I think it's done on purpose because it's not... Ne- Before, people used to say certain things to mm. be racist. They'll say, call your name or something yeah. like that. You know it. Now, it's it's like... It's subtle. You, yeah, and that's not subtle. They do it in another way. Before, when John Barnes on there, they used to throw bananas. Oh, so, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Then when we played, like, the generation after that, they used to say they got a chip on their shoulder, blah, blah, blah. Saying all these... When I, when I, was, when I was playing, when I was coming through, I remember p- being called petulant. Petulant. I've been sent off once in my career. Mm. Like, and it was, I'll, still to this day, I'll say, they got a red card to me because I had to pull the guy, but pull his arm off me. But yeah, that's why I look on that. Anyway, yeah, calling you Petulant, they use certain words to describe black players and everybody knows it. And I'm not going to sit here and, and say, oh, it's not, it's not that 100%. That's a fact. I'm not even one of them to go, um, no, there are sometimes facts. The only way that the only way that anyone could prove me wrong is being honest. Mm. Come on, you know it's out there. Have you ever had blatant racism in football? Though? Yeah, from not from fans though, it's just maybe from managers, in football, coaches. Yeah, you get it all the time. Without mentioning it, or you can mention right. it if you want. I'll do, right, when I was, for example, my team at Reading, we all had, and most players had like. Same watches. Yeah. And um, we was away in Marbella. <laughs> and w- Wally Downs come up to me and said, why do you wear that? I was like, what would you mean? Why do you, what would you mean? I, li- I like it. He goes, but why'd you wear it? Mm. So, because I like it. I said, why are you asking Sidney or Sidwell or someone like that? Yeah. Because they don't, because it, when you, they just, it's just planted in them. They, you have earrings, you're flashy. I'm, <laughs> how was that? How's that flash? It's me, who I am. You have long hair, that's you. But they're not you know, asking They're, they're not ask. asking them mm. questions like that. You have an afro. Oh, it looks it looks silly. It looks like a microphone. <laughs> you know what and I mean? you know what? You I know? have to laugh. I'll tell you why I laugh here because yeah. you hear those things all the time. Yeah, that microphone one. Yeah. I remember when I was playing, um, where was I? I can't even remember, but I had I hadn't cut my hair in a while, but mm. it's just normal hair. And they were, all, they were all in the changing room saying, oh, look, that looks like a microphone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's silly. Little comments it, like that. It's so dumb, that. It's, sometimes, don't get me wrong, some people don't even realise, but it's already planted in their head. Mm. That's the, that's, they say things like that sometimes don't even know. You know what I mean? So, and, and that's what I was saying. When I, when I said it's, it's a society thing, like, they're all trying to do all these campaigns that like change your avatar and... Like your display pick on Twitter, or whatever stand stand up for racism or whatever, but it's not an issue that's solely in football. No, it's, it's people. Yeah, Do you it's, get people what I'm saying? it's people. Lukaku flipping got um, racially abused when he was taking a penalty. Did you see it? Yeah, I watched and, it. I watched it. And the Inter fans have come out and said, and said it's is um, the Inter fans, not not the no, yeah. Cagliari or whatever they are. The Inter fans have come out and said it's not racist. Like, it's not, it's not yeah, racist. It's, it's not racist. Calling someone monkey, the, a monkey chance is not racist. They, they're just, they're just doing what they can to put off the, uh, the opposition team and whatever. Oh, right, yeah, cool. That's yeah. nice, isn't it? <laughs> See what I mean? Things like that. When people, like, like, like <sighs> all these social media things, and listen, I, I'm i straight up. Like, I say to people, like, what I don't, some, someone come up with the other day, they said, oh, I like um, Maguire, Harry Maguire's suggestion where you have to put your 
picture or your send your passport or license. You know how long people have been saying that? <laughs> you know, they said I liked it, but they use him to, but I know mm. exactly who said it. Yeah. And <laughs> why do you say it came from time ago? People yeah. been trying, that's not it, it's how are you using someone else someone else's quote for Harry Maguire? Yeah. Who just what thought about it? And I do you think people ain't been thinking that for years? That they can stop it, but clearly they don't want to. We're thinking about changing our thing they put up on we're, we're looking into it. It's simple. Cut them words out of your thing like you do certain thing, other mm. things. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy. It's just nuts. Yeah, no. Um, funny you say Harry Maguire. I personally think he's one of those who has been uplifted by the little, you know, system, whatever it is. Yeah. Because... I, no, but he deserve, he's deserved No. It. He's come through and he's, he's a good defender. You know, he's I'll a good defender. No, he's, he's a good defender. Yeah. You know what people think I hate, like... It's so funny, but I get the feedback. Yeah. People think I don't like Maguire, really. And I think he's really, really good. Yeah. But... Would you have had him at Arsenal? N- yeah, but Arsenal's, <laughs> Arsenal's fucking... I'd have you in centre-back for Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, I just think with him, they've they've proper just... They lick his ass so much. If he was if he was Spanish or something, they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't lick his ass as much. Do you get what I'm saying? And, yeah. and then my whole point as well was on him was that... As good as he is, he's not a 90 million defender. But yeah, they ripped into me for saying that. But can you imagine that? So let them, man, because uh, the people no, that's are... That's fine, it's better. That's all it's good, better. that's what I mean. That's the people. It's, it's, it's proper, proper Probably Man United fans, you don't take it to heart, man. It's probably Man United fans. No, nah, I never take it to heart. Yeah, I love, I love yeah. it. I bring it on. Man United fans and Liverpool fans are the absolute worst. Trust. But um, being a Chelsea fan, surely you must understand... Do you, do, you go, do you actually go to watch yeah, matches? Go to Stamford Bridge. Do you ever hear, or obviously people cast Chelsea fans for being racist anyway, mm. and you're a bloody Chelsea fan? Um, well, normally where I sit, it's with families and stuff. So mm. You're not going to hear too much. You're not going to hear any of that with the families and stuff like that. So, but you know what? It's them, them, it's, 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 not, it's not even, you just have to laugh. Mm. Like, we know that, it's, I don't know how to pull it. People, why do why do people the first thing to say to a black player is when they do something like, ah, oh, you black this, you nigger, whatever. The first thing, when I you go on the internet, first thing, someone, you have an argument. I play this poker game mm. on uh, my phone. Yeah. And I got my picture on it. As soon as I'm losing <laughs> or I'm beating someone, so you black the this. first thing they do is get racist. I'll just laugh because it's so like, Stupid, like it's a game for one, and the first thing you do because they think they're gonna wind me up. I'm like, you could never say that to my face. Mm. <laughs> That's cool with me. You could never come to my face and say that. You can say it on, on your finger all day, mm. but a lot of people they, they, they're in the public life. They don't want that. They don't want to be called it. It shouldn't be. You shouldn't have to put up with it. Yeah, but I'm different. I'm like, if a man can say that to my face, then mm. then I'll have a problem. But if he can't. I'll move on, move on, carry yeah. on what I'm doing. But one sec, one sec, Brent. Yeah. Man, I, I was just saying, I can't believe how flipping trim you are, man. Yeah, I've not let myself go <laughs> just so, yet, mate. You know, sometimes you see these players, even before they finish playing, they just let themselves go. Yeah, so as I said, it's one of them things. I, I like to feel good within. Mm. So if I feel good within, then I, I'm good. I don't let myself. Nah, go. I, I think someone could tempt you still to to play football. Nah. So it's done. I've moved on from that. I'm not playing. What's so, what, like? What's what's the plans now though? Just I'm helping out a co- bit of coaching and that. So mm. um, I'm gonna do more of this stuff and running a business now. So yeah, with, it's a sports and entertainment a- agency. Oh, okay, so, that makes sense now. Getting that going. Yeah. So um, yeah, just looking forward to getting my hands into that. Yeah, at what point did you think, you know what, I'm going to have to start planning for like after football? Was it just within the last year? No, I've been planning for a while, but just just when you have to quit, when you have to not say you're not playing anymore, it's just, that was the it's the hardest thing to do. Mm. Uh, I knew it was, everyone, everything comes to the end, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm happy, as, I'm happy at this stage. You know? And did you always want to coach? I, I don't mind helping... Not, I don't know about going into a professional game, mm. but um, I do want to help. I think I help out a lot of kids and you know young players who want to get to that next level. And yeah. that's what I'm doing. Got a few now that I'm helping out, so 
um, yeah, I'm really into that, and then you know, it's going well. Why well, would you want to coach there? Is that a patience well, thing? Or just not a patience thing. I've spoke to players who told me they've applied for jobs for two years and mm. they're still waiting. You know what I mean? So I was like, well, until until I'd rather help these lot push them into the league. Yeah, like players, young players who who are playing like um, conference or or whatever, help them get into the league. Bit of knowledge and coaching with them, and it's, I've been I've been doing it for the last few weeks. Started properly last few weeks, and I'm enjoying it. Okay, all, all, all the best with that. Thank you. Right, so now we're going to get into the best team you've come up against. Not yes. not 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 in regards to like Arsenal, Man United, mm. but which if you were to say Arsenal, which one, Arsenal team? One, one fixture, I'll tell you this. Well, <laughs> one fixture I used to hate when I was at Middlesbrough, playing Swansea away. Really? I hated that game. The, you don't see the ball. I was I just about I, to say, is, I, is that why? I played 90 minutes. I think probably had about five touches. <laughs> Two of them were headers. And cons. did you know before you did went you there? You know exactly what you're going to. And it's one fixture I used to dread, like thinking they're just going to bop us all over the place, just keep the ball. And you, you know, We play one up front. Mm. I, I think we went there once. We played two up front. We got bopped. Yeah. <laughs> but we won 3 0. I don't know how. We won 3 0, but we got bopped, like, didn't see the ball. And mm. yeah, I could have, it's one of the fixtures, you're just like, oh, no, here we go. Yeah, but then, which which fixture do you see and you think, ah, oh, I'm loving this one? Uh, I'm trying to think who most of my goal. Burnley. Burnley. Who scored against them? Uh, broke my leg there as well. Um, I was going to get into uh, that one as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's the best team, probably. Best, I'll say the best footballing team was that was that Swansea team that mm. used to play. But, but people would be surprised by you. I was they played better football than Arsenal, Man United, everyone. That Swansea, no, but that Swansea team could play though. Yeah, that's they played better mm. football. That's the honest truth. They they, they used to bop us, and it's just a fixture you hated. And that was that wasn't Brendan. That was was that Roberto? Uh, I think Roberto first, then. Brendan, mm. because they played like that for years. So. When did when was Thingy there? Laudrup? He was there when I was there. He came after um, Brendan. Okay, well, what was what was he? Like? I like him a lot, man. Yeah, was a manager. Yeah, uh, first one in. Um, last sorry, last one in, first one out, mate. Is he? Yeah, he lived. <laughs> he lived listen, he, honestly, the football gods are on his side, boy. Because mm. we won the cup, so, um, Swansea there at that time, but. No, all the players, honestly, nobody liked him. Really? Not one. The Spanish boys loved him. The ones he brought in. Mm. Uh, no, no. All the boys are there. No, no one liked him. No one liked him. He used to join in training, try and flick the ball over players' heads. And uh, you could tell it was some... Don't get me wrong. Nah, he was a player. Though. A player. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Him and his, his brother. Some of his passing and stuff. Oof. Yeah. But now, nah, as a manager, no, I didn't I didn't play that much. I didn't play for him at all, I don't think. Maybe once. Mm. Um, I didn't rate him. And oh, a, lot wow. of play, a lot of players, they won't say it now because they're still playing probably the ones that are there. But yeah, no, no. The changing room was divided. The Spanish boys and the boys that were there before, and that's it. It was, it wasn't the same place, and no one really enjoyed it. But won the cup. The football gods are on his side. But. It's so crazy because when you're watching football, you'll never know that. Like yeah. you said, you won the cup. You just think all is well. Yeah, no, no, no one, no one, none of that. A lot of the boys didn't like him. So. Were there any any other managers you played under or players you played with that you just did not like? Wow, scored a strike, and I've never seen a. Change rooms get so split up. When he came in, we was Who? Gordon Strachan. Oh, Strachan! Oh, yeah. yeah. When we was uh, um, get our Gareth Southgate got sacked, we all was confused. This is Middlesbrough, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. We got sacked. We were second in the league. I think a point off top. Strachan came in and absolutely just ruined the change room. <laughs> he knew how to ruin the change room. He wasn't. He was telling some players, uh, how, "Why are you on this money?" And blah blah blah. I think it's Andrew Taylor said that and he was there to ask him how you're on this much. He said, but Andrew, Taylor, Andrew Taylor played every game in the Premier League for the last four years and mm. something like that. And came, in, came in with that mentality. Yeah. Um, he was. He only spoke to me, Adam Johnson and Gary O'Neill. No, he didn't come in and put everyone in the room and mm. talk about how he works and stuff like that. Oh, so well, he, he did you. in the end, but... He did for five minutes, but he only spoke he, when he, I think, the first couple of days called me, 
um, Gary O'Neill and Adam Johnson in. That's it. And I've never seen a player. Mark Yates. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what he did to him. The changing room just got divided. In, but when it, when January came, it brought in his boys from Celtic, um, Scotland, mm. blah, blah, blah. Bro, we was fighting relegation by the end of it. He took over. That's that's probably the worst I've seen a manager do as a as a, a coming in. Like I've never seen anything like it. That just that like, destroyed the change room. Mark Yates, <laughs> we played Newcastle away. <laughs> I think Amiobi scored the second goal and we lost two 0 Got yeah. in the change room, absolutely battered Yatesy. Why? Just say why didn't you stop the cross or something like that? Yatesy went. We weren't even on the fucking pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I went even on the fucking pitch. We all looked around. We went. Was he not on the pitch? Because he just got slaughtered. He was losing. He was just losing his mind. Oh, but yeah, it's nuts. Though. Oh, funny that one. Mm. Yeah, Adam John- Adam Johnson on your team. Yeah, was that a shock? What? He's, nah, a- he's brilliant. He's brilliant. I knew he'd go play for England straight away. Yeah, he, he was. Unreal, some of the stuff he's doing. I was like, yeah, probably be gone in January. But so. was all of his transgressions the a shock? He's off the field. I don't know, mate. <laughs> just, I don't, I, well, he done his time now, ain't it? But yeah, it's a bit weird that one because I think he was just trying to, you know, take advantage of who he was and stuff like mm. that, thinking he's gonna get away with it. Which is it was, it was stupid, really, isn't it? What was he thinking? But yeah, it's one of them. <laughs> this is this is like a, a slightly different question though. How careful were you when it came to like meeting like girls and that because of the whole you know allegations that they like to do and whatever, or did you, did you just not? That's a, that's a good good question. To be fair, well, all the allegation. Well, when I used to meet girls and stuff like that, you know, I remember I, there was a time where every week. Yeah, a new one. every week someone was getting accused of rape mm, or something yeah. like that. Well, that hit me really hard. <laughs> I was in Newcastle. Oh, you got accused? No, no, no. I was in Newcastle with this girl. Um, she uh, she came out with me and my boys, mm. but she didn't really know them. Yeah, she she thought they were just other two other footballers. Mm. And um, <laughs> so I've I've gone back to my house in um, near Borough. I left them in Newcastle. They've all gone back to the hotel they're staying at, mm. done their thing, whatever. I was this was on a Sunday. I got in training, blah blah blah, train Tuesday, Wednesday off, so I'm back in London. I've they've shown me what they've got up to, innit? They sent sent me a video. Yeah. So I was like, she they were having the fun, enjoying, no problem. Mm. Well, so I've seen it. On a Wednesday, I'm in a hotel in London. I've just been out. And um the secretary rings me up and goes, Leroy, um, Newcastle police want to speak to you. I was like, what for? They said, oh, the, who's the other two footballers you was with on Sunday? I went, well, we're no footballers. Yeah. So, but they want to, they want to speak to you. There's been an allegation of rape. So I've got on a, got on a. Um, but the news straight away it weren't you. That was no, no, yeah. it not on me. It wasn't on me. They, she went and cried to police that they raped her. Whatever. Mm. Um, I got on a train, gone up to the, the police station. I had to give a who, who, where where I left them and blah. I have to give a statement and all that. And um, I went. I've been, I've known my boys for like 10 years. Mm. Uh, they would never do that. And I've seen the video. In my, I didn't say it in the thing in my head. I was, I've, seen, I've seen the video. Yeah. There's no way. That's rape. Yeah. So I had to give them their numbers. They've gone to their house because they lived in Nottingham, both of them. Mm-hmm. And um, they've gone to their house, searched their house, everything like that. Um, taken clothes they're wearing, blah, blah, blah. And taken them, told them to come down to be interviewed. So my friend... He sits there, one cop's caning him, going, this she's got vaginal injuries, blah, blah, blah. Uh-uh. And he goes, what? <laughs> showed, her the vid- showed them the video. Oh, so he actually showed yeah. them? Yeah. He said, the other cop, I threw his hands up in the air and went like that. This woman's coming crying. And, and so, if they didn't have that video, and the police told them, if this video comes out, this case will come again. I said, bruv, make sure you send me a copy because we, if that goes to court, you need that video yeah. because that's that's their life ruined mm. for something they didn't do. Mm. So I used to, when I used to, then I started like videoing girls and all that. Yeah. So mm. when I was with them, I always make sure I got a little clip or something. Guess what happened to me? Well, I don't know. I lost my phone or someone sold me out. Put that video out of me shagging that bird so I was I always had videos really yes order to always had videos because I didn't trust no because every two minutes 
girls were getting um, guys were getting accused of rape. I was like, I'm not, I'm not getting accused yeah, of rape. So I made sure I got a clip or something like that, or so just for my mm. own security. So, so yeah, it was because everyone was getting accused. So, and it ruined you, man. Yeah, no, that's that would ruin you. And like, even if you're not found guilty, it's still yeah. in people's heads because look, I, I've, one of my friends' um, partner. Um, got accused one one of my friends got like accused well that I know someone I know for a friend anyway he got accused of rape and went to court everything like that mm. got found the girl came out and yeah, said that she was lying blah 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 but in his area he was like labelled as a rapist he committed suicide bro oh no so come on you, you, I get it there is victims out there but mm. I'm saying it's not one of them you can play with you know what I mean it's not Oh, you, the guy rang me up, or you can't do that. That's yeah. someone's like. That's really mean. Like, if it's not happened, don't get me as disgusting. If someone has done that, mm. but if it's it's not true, it's it's gonna ruin someone's life. For example, one person he couldn't take the name calling and all that, and killed himself. So you don't know. It's it's one of and, them. And it's for me, it's such a thing because when you say that, um, when you go against this and actually maybe say that it's it's a false allegation or whatever, or that like you want to see some facts. Mm. It's almost as if you can't even say that anymore because it's, it's as if you're going against like rape, like rape victims. Uh, listen, and, and, and one all for, that. listen, if it happens and it's, it's true, yeah, better you punish them on the max or whatever. But when it's, it's, the problem is, is when it's not true. Yeah. It's still, you might as well, you might as well have been, yeah. some people think that you might as well have mm. been a rapist because that's what you get labeled and, and you know what I mean? It's just, it's like, it destroys people inside, especially when they know they're innocent. And I think what doesn't help as well is the fact that the people who lie about it, it seems like there's no repercussions for them. Yeah. They well, get to if, this. It's, it doesn't make sense. Well, everyone said it. Like, if someone gets caught found out lying about us, they should get a punishment the mm. person would have got for rape. That's common yeah. sense, right? That should, mm. that should be what happened, but it'll, it doesn't. It'll, it'll stop a lot of people. It'll stop a lot of people mm. thinking, you know what I mean? But then again, it, they, 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 then they'll say, well, people have been, if you are you if you, if you have been raped, right? Mm. You, 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 you know it's true. You, you ain't worried about being caught, but lying, are you? Mm. So the person might get found innocent, yeah. whatever, but you you know in yourself you ain't lied and they just have to prove it in court. But if they prove you're lying, I think that person who's lying should get the same punishment as the person who who, 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 who got accused of rape would have got five years, whatever it is. Lee really if a prime minister. Nah, man. <laughs> Trust me. They don't want you to run this country. Nah, they'll run the country. <laughs> nah, they'll run the country. <laughs> nah, nah, too funny. But um, very great on that point as well. I remember um, Nara Ranger, he, had, um, he mm. got accused of something. He got found not guilty. Stayed with him. Stay, stayed with him to this day. Yeah. To this day, like if you search his name and stuff mm. like that. That's what I mean. Imagine but, that. But, but I don't know the full ins and outs of the case, so you can't, don't know if someone was lying or but he got found. No, no, it, it, was, it was not good and the girl was, was lying, didn't it? It was lying. So and, there you go. And that stayed with him. Then there you had go. the Ched Evans one. There you go. The man served time and then... He come. served time only to, to oh yeah. So just it's, it's a dangerous one. It's a dangerous one because there is victims out there, and you got to respect that as well. Mm. And uh, I don't want I don't don't want to try and if someone has a I think they should come out and speak. And it's you, know, you can't make people scared to come out and say mm. this has happened to me because it's not fair. If it has happened to them, they should be able to come out and you know get the person responsible behind bars, man, sent straight up. Yeah. No, no doubt. What made you get into the whole sports and entertainment side of things? Um, I think for, for I just wanted to spread a bit more. Mm. Like I know football. I didn't just want to focus on football. I would, basically I want to help like other talented people. Like, and you know, there's loads of people with talent, right? Um, but some people just give up because they don't feel they're gonna get the the opportunities. Mm. And then I, I, I remember feeling like that as a kid, thinking, "Oh, there's so many, so many other players." And about where's my opportunity? But you, if you keep your focus and you keep your faith, obviously, you, something will come out. I just want to get into them, them people like that as mind frame and push them to whatever they want to do. But when you say sports and entertainment, is that basically like being like an agent? Yeah, for, oh, okay. for sports and and mm. TV as well. So like getting people on show, music shows, and stuff like that. Mm. So. How hard is that to do? Or is it because... It's a challenge. Of... It's a challenge, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's like 
got my mind working and speaking to a lot of people and um, yeah, get some got some good contacts and now I just want to push it. Through. I was about to say you must have got good contacts over yeah. the years. Not know. just football though. That, yeah, outside well. yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. So I've met a lot of people and then you know ask for a favour someone's number and I hear and mm. here and now and again so yeah someone I've lent a t- gave a ticket in the past yeah <laughs> so, it's all good um, do you do you like to do a lot of the like punditry jobs um, or do you, do no you... punditry I don't think that I've tried it a couple of times I think what I've what I've done what I'm I don't think I'm going to do it like unless it's something I'm, I'm interested in talking interested in talking about I think it's a lot of script scripted. Mm. You sat there, they basically give you a list of what you're gonna talk about and what time and blah blah blah. It's not you can't really I always I always think yeah. that, man. It's not it's not natural, man. It's not natural. It's like it's a bit fake, you know. What I mean, I can't I am yeah, I'm not down for that. It's a bit fake. You can't this there should be more of this. Mm. Players would love to do this. Mm. I'm telling you, they would love to do it, but they just can't. You can't. They're going to come here and they're going to be like robots. Every player, if you get players who are still playing coming in mm. here, they're going to be like robots. No, it's it's, <laughs> it's happened. So what what the reason why we don't get more players who are in their primes, like if I was to name a couple, mm. it's because they're, they're so scared. Yeah. They're so scared. Yeah. Like we, we can get them for the live yeah. show because they don't feel like the live show is a, cause a Q&A thing yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But this one yeah. here, they're just so scared to just mm. come on and, you know... So that's not as scared. They, they can't. They can't. You can't speak freely because they will come back on you somehow. Mm. Even, even someone, you people always pick up things from somewhere. And they, yeah. Like, so my story I'm telling you about striker or something or whatever, mm. or whatever I told you about my mates. That yeah. would, someone will pick up on that and be like, oh, oh, that really happened. But at the time, you can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the time, I couldn't say nothing. I was like, I was really, I was, I was like really upset. I was thinking, now, if my mates didn't have that video, mm. I would have been, a, I would have been, they would be in jail. Yeah. And my name would have been in the, in that case. Yeah. And my name would be the one. And then everyone would have looked at me as like I was the one involved. Premier League that's, footballer, that's you what, elite yeah, as that's, friends. That's all it'll be. Headlines. That's all it'll be. And then all of a sudden and, you're tainted. Yeah. Into. Now, when it goes quiet, no one hears about it. There's loads, probably loads of things like that. So mm. when um, loads of players have to pay off women for to have abortions and stuff like that, come on, man! All that happens, and people don't think it does. Do you, do you know how much? Do you know how much people get extorted? Like, it's, uh, it's unreal. It's not. It's not the most beautiful word that everyone thinks. Everybody thinks the money should make you get paid so much. You should be happy. Yeah, when you have got loads of other things to deal with, the money can't. Money doesn't make you happy, man. Yeah, so. What's been some of the things you've you've heard people have had to do to like keep things quiet or whatever? Just loads of loads of things like but lads lads having to pay off these girls who had have had a baby um by them, apparently. But <laughs> you know what I mean? But they were they were seen with another player from yeah. a team. <laughs> the week weekend before, but yeah, sometimes people just don't want that stress, innit? They just don't. So wanna, they just do it. Yeah, they just do. So get rid of it. Like you don't want to get involved. So especially when you're a young lad, don't get. Yeah. Me, I've never done it, so I'll I'll tell you if I did stress. <laughs> so, but nah, it's um, it's crazy. Like so many things happen. Like just, just it's, I won't say the names and that, but I know a lot of players who like suffer with shit like that all the time. Mm. So yeah. yeah. Right, so I told one of my one of my female friends that um, just chalking up. We got a former footballer on Premier League footballer, mm. and she's like, "Oh my gosh, I want to ask him a question." Yeah, because me and her battle about this all the yeah. time. Go yeah, on. she reckons yeah, black footballers don't like black girls. Really, yeah. bro? It's it's so dumb. It is such. A dumb thing, yeah. She black. She's black. Yeah. She's black. She's just like, oh, they only, they only go for their white girls anyway. And blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, she goes, ask him. I was like, I'm not going to ask him that question. Nah. She's like, ask him. I was, I was like, all right, cool. Nah. So can we just end this right now? Yeah, that's not that's not the case. Because she sees them on TV. You know them, the yeah, ones... But some, that... Remember, some players get told to go with certain people to make their profiles, yes. whatever old girls get told to you know pursue this guy mm. this footballer that's that's 
that's just all about uh, publicity. It's not. Yeah, no. I, I tell well, you we, we know the, the press time. ain't gonna tell a black girl to do, it, are they? Because we, we they're not. They're not in that. They're not in that category for them. So, Mate, I tell her that all the time. I said, if you see, if you see one of them, like they could PR like them, they, 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 they could like them. But at the same time, to just no, rule no, them out, I don't think that's. I don't know. No, that's not. That's not a thing. One bit. It's not a thing, at, not a all. thing at all. It's not. It's not, not a thing at all. And no, she's gonna think I'm being no, biased still or whatever. No, no, no chance. No chance. Maybe, maybe a footballer turned. I always, I always tell her maybe a footballer yeah. turned her down, but. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe one turn. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That's about it. Best player you played against? Best. Um, we'll go with, everyone will expect me to say Ronaldo, but I'll go Paul Scholes. Oh, He's just that's unreal. a good one. I, thought, I just love to just control the way, control the game, man. I would go Paul Scholes easy. How many times did you get to play against him? Probably uh, three, four times, I think. And it was good every time? Yeah, yeah. Just so unreal. Mm. <laughs> I think the whole the whole setup was to stop him playing. That's how you try and stop Man United. But yeah, you can't stop a good player like that. Man. I'm so happy you say that, man. Because again, that's another 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 thing that goes um a little simmering debate on it sometimes whenever we bring it up. That full goals is, was one of the Yeah. <sighs> I'll have him ahead of I'll have him ahead of Lampard. I'm a Chelsea fan as well. Mm. I'll have him as an all round footballer. Yeah. I have him had a Lampard and Gerard yeah, easily for me. Yeah, man. I was but even the best saying... player, most talented player I've ever seen, Ravel Morrison. I was I went on loan to Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, first session. He's I at Sheffield United, no? Yeah, I was like, finished training. I, well, the things he was doing, I've, I've never seen that. Most talented player I've seen mm. or played alongside. Um, he, the things he's doing training, and I was like, "Who's this kid? He's, he's unreal." I think and after, Rio said that, yeah, yeah. I, when after the training, I went, "What team are you on loan from?" Mm. I knew it wasn't Birmingham. Yeah, player. what team? I never heard of him before. Yeah, Man United. I was like, "Okay, that makes sense." And then, then uh, he's just a joke. The things he was doing is phew, someone, someone can get hold of that guy properly and like push him. He's, he's unreal. He's he's another one though that's that suffered from that negative. Press yeah. and it's not even even recently before yeah. he joined Sheffield United. Yeah, yeah managers, man, 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 managers try and kill him. I've had I've had loads of stories. I've had loads, like West Ham. I don't know why West Ham let him go mm. because he wants to sign a new contract or something like that. So then what happens in football? Manager will talk to another manager, and I would say don't don't touch him and things like that. Mm. So fair play to was it, the to Sheffield that, that Englishman. I don't even know what his name is. Smith. Don't know who it is. Uh, that Englishman. Yeah, Hold on. He, well, yeah, that's him. Yeah, Chris, isn't it? Chris. Um, Don't know who it is. Yeah, he's um, Dean Smith's villa, isn't he? Yeah, so yeah, well, well done. He's um, he's given him a chance, and he's. I think if he gets hold of it, he's got a great player on his hands. Yeah, I think because before he joined Sheffield United, his last team was abroad somewhere, Sweden, and it came out that. He just left the club, mm. like he's terminated his contract yeah. and blah blah blah. And he's put on Twitter the, the actual messages. Yeah. So and then the club came back, came out and, and, and said, said no, yeah, it weren't true. He was, he was a that, proper good guy. Someone trying to stop someone signing him. You know what I mean? It's just nonsense. You, little things you notice it because you're switched on. Mm. But I imagine a lot of people do not know that. And 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 this is the thing and they don't understand it. They don't see it. They just see but ne- negative news. Oh yeah, it must be trouble. You don't. They don't see the thing when people are trying to look at what um, Glenn Johnson tried to Chris do. Wilder. with Glenn Johnson tried to do with Sado. Ah, oh. come on, man! He's twenty five years old, twenty six <sighs> years old, and you're on TV talking that nonsense. I spoke to Sado. Ah, oh, okay. He was pissed. No, he, he should he be. Was, I spoke to him and he was like, listen, I don't know what he's trying to achieve from this, whatever, but I don't really care and I don't have no respect for him. You know what? That next day, he got his move and he's got free and free now. And they love him. And they love him. They love him. You know what? You know what? God is good, bro. You know what I mean? All the time. They, they, you can't hurt good people. I don't understand why Glenn, I play with Glenn. I don't know. I, I didn't see, I played with him in 21s. I didn't see that in him. Like, why would you try and kill it? A young young man like 26, 25. But do you know what's mad? I was listening on the radio because mm. it was transferred dead yeah. day. Why were they so, talking about him? No, no, they well, weren't. Like he just came out of it. He just it, it 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 was literally like no need for him to to bring it up. No need. But then what he was doing is it's like 
it was almost as if he's just trying to find something hot to just yeah. make the news and, and do the media's jobs for yeah, them. Exactly. And they were lapping it up like Yeah, they, they were like, like, what? You if you was a manager, yeah. you wouldn't sign him. You wouldn't you wouldn't touch him with a barge for whatever or whatever they said. Oh, I'm like, really? That's unnecessary, man. He's 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 made mistakes, his mistakes. But the things in that club, what they were doing to that boy, mm. right? What watch. It's not my place to say because if, if you hear what they were doing to that boy, yeah, it's wrong. And everybody has a bad image of him. And the people around it as well, you, you, you'll fully understand it when, he, when he's ready to speak about it. Do you know Fem? Yeah, I speak to Fem. Yeah, yeah so, to so, so, so when, I, when I spoke to Fem, um, he was he saying... tell you what Yeah, happened. yeah. No, he, was, he didn't go into too much detail, yeah, yeah. but he was saying, yeah. It's for Sado to come out and say, yeah. because then people will be like, oh, that's what was really going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not... But then you don't see it. But you then... don't see it because they just write something negative and mm. then everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah that Sado kid, blah, blah, blah. He's a good kid. Like, mm. he loves his football. He's been training hard all summer. Like, just w- waiting for a club. He wasn't even allowed to go into training. They wouldn't even... In your contract, they have to provide training facilities or you mm. have to provide training for you. He wasn't even allowed in the building. Yeah. But everyone's talking about all this nonsense. You yeah. get me? So I don't understand it. But yeah, he and it's up to him to come out because that one really hurt me because that's so damaging what Glenn did. Mm. Don't do that, man. You don't do that at all. That's just so damaging. He's just, he's made a mistake. We've all made mistakes, but it's 25, 26. Like he's going to mature. He's, well. he's going to mature. Look, just let him get, get. don't try to ruin him. Probably things like that, probably every man in England probably went, nah, not touching him. Yeah. Nah, boom, like, and finish. the thing is, you don't know who was actually looking at him? Who, yeah. was, who was thinking of, was thinking, you know, taking yeah. a punt on him, and yeah. then all of a sudden, yeah, that's that him. happens all the time. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, for example, what he did, and I don't care what anyone says, if a white player did it, there'll be nothing said, no problem. He would have paid his fine, and everybody would have forgot about Listen, it. Hundred percent. I'm not even taking that back. Rooney gets Rooney cheats on his missus every other every week. week. Every week, <laughs> every week, man cheating every week. Every other and, week, uh, and and. and Flipping, nothing he, happens. Nothing. Ashley Cole got annihilated when he was about Cheryl. Yeah, he got annihilated. The public hated him. England fans are booing him. Mm. Rooney gets a, a goodbye game. <laughs> Jesus, mate. You know what I mean, no that goodbye game that no one really thought. Well, why? What's the point of that? He's done in it, mate. But he's, even <laughs> even like John Terry, yeah. they, they took away his captain's captaincy only to give it back to him. Mm. You don't, want, you don't want to talk bad about your, your captain, do you? Huh? You don't want to talk bad about I it. don't. <laughs> you ain't quiet there. It's cool, man. I've, I remember I was at Chelsea as a kid. Yeah. So I've, I've, the things I've heard about him, obviously he did what he did, but when the Bridge thing, was he married at the time? I heard, okay, maybe he was. But I heard Bridge was, is Bridge's ex missus, no? No, I, I, heard together. It, I, I heard they were together. Why is he crossing the road where they lived and go to the house? Oh, no, I heard, I, the... I heard it. Yeah. It was wrong what he did, didn't it? Yeah. So, if it, 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 yeah, what we know of it, yeah. So, I don't care. But, and he's, he's had like, loads of issues in it with the Anton and. Um, we had we had Anton come on. But he said that, but didn't J. What I heard was JT said, I didn't call you a nigger. No, no, I remember watching the video. He didn't, he didn't call him. He didn't call him that. Yeah, so what was that about? Did he tell you, Anton? No, I remember seeing it on Sky. Yeah. It was, he called him a black C-U-N-T. He said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he said it straight. Bl- F- okay. F- everyone saw it. And it, I remember watching it. Yeah, because it was blurred it, didn't they? And they, every time I seen it, it was blurred. Yeah, yeah, no, it's blurred yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It's blurred now. But I remember watching it and it was Chelsea versus QPR and then... I think there was a corner or something. They took that off quick, didn't it? Yeah, uh-huh. bro. It was a corner. Yeah. And then you know when they show that shot of like, so the corner's come in, I think JT's fouled someone or something. Yeah. And then he's running back to get into yeah. position. But he's having words. He's having words with Anton, isn't it? Yeah, I've never, a I've never spoke. I've seen Anton like last summer, but I've never, I've never asked him about it. Yeah, no, he came yeah, he came on our on our live show and spoke about it. And then um, I think it was like the first time he's spoken about it like, what publicly. Say? He was just like, everyone heard it. Yeah. He, his thing was, that he was disappointed because he had he by the time he's come off the pitch, it's trending worldwide. Like everyone's heard it. Yeah. Someone's pulled him into the room and said, "Listen, this is what's what's going on right now." Blah blah blah. Someone from QPR. Yeah, like his phone's blowing up mm-hmm. and everything. And then um, he said his thing was he was in he was the one in question. 
Like <laughs> Anton was the one in question. He's the one that's that's thingy. But then yeah, they flipped it. Yeah, and then yeah, he, got, he got blacklisted. Yeah. He had to go play in Turkey. Yeah. Come back. Thailand. He went yeah, like, Thailand first as well. Yeah, and then he was just like, but then everyone when it was John Terry now, no one's really like questioning him. No. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, but we know why. Come on, <laughs> things like that are plain to see. No one wants to. No, this is a problem. No one wants to admit the truth. Mm. It's, it's not for just football. It's that's just society, man. Come on, people. When you talk about it, people get really uncomfortable. Mm. Because everyone goes on like it doesn't exist. I think you when know? you talk about it, people get uncomfortable. They get uncomfortable. I think subconsciously they, they feel like you're calling you're, you're them calling, Yeah, you're not. Yeah. You're not. You want to talk about it. This is what's happening. Mm. Why is that person being treated like that? It's like what John um, John Barnes was saying about um, what um, Sancho said. He said, yeah, you're going to fall out of love with football. Now, nah, football brings people together mm. from different come on I mean look let's for example how many people love someone from Senegal or e- Egypt or whatever if it, football brings that together mm. but in the street so that person the, the, if someone's of colour was a, a white person they, most people they cross over the street because they feel they're scared of Just something hold, hold because back. it's because what you feed people and you implant it in their brain and but yeah. football is good for it i don't think you would lose the love of football because football brings loads of people together yeah i think um, football brings loads of people together but I, I still think that within football you still got normal everyday human beings yeah, who, yeah. who who still have that mindset yeah, as well yeah Do you i know, know what I'm, saying? I'm not saying they should accept it but i think we can use football to teach people outside football Look, mm. a person from this country, blah, 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 they look, they're playing together, getting along, blah, blah, mm. blah. You put a white kid, um, black kid, Asian kid, um, mm. whatever, um, Indian kid, whatever, put them in the same room. They all play. It's what you teach them. No, so it's, 100%. It's what you teach them. And people don't want to, they don't want to make, I'm, I've seen, but, you've seen them, you've seen them clips and little kids shouting, you little, fuck off you black cunt. They yeah. don't know what they're saying. It's, yeah. They don't know, they don't understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you, they don't know yeah. what they're saying. They don't know because, but they'll grow up thinking it's okay to say that. Yeah. Just, and look down on black people or whatever. But that's the parents' fault. Mm. That's not the kids' fault. So if you keep doing that, What's going to happen? We're not going to go anywhere. Of course. So it's when you you got to start from there. Racism starts at home. You know what I mean? Because no no one... Definitely. No one is born like, oh, I'd hate black people. Because I said, you put a mix of um, different races together as kids, they will play, no problem. Primary school, everyone was happy. Everybody, no problem. They everyone all play. Was happy. Yeah, the only one that will have a problem is the one that the parents say, oh, stay away from that group, mm. bro. That, that's the only problem. You know what I mean? I hear that, but I do think there are some certain people, like, back to that that most keen thing and when it happened to him, and um, Benucci came out and, and... Trying to push him back and say, what are you doing? Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. it's things like that where yeah. you still have to, you still have people who are just normal human beings mm. in within football. Mm. And until... I we need know. to fix it in society first. No, no, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred. Which is why I don't think yeah, it's going to yeah. change. It's not, no, it's until not, you fix no, it in, no, in society. It's not. It's because not look, change. look, look how long it's taken them to block all these words and all these. Look, every week, every game, something happens. Every mm. what? We're going backwards, mate. You know what I mean? We're going backwards. Uh, people coming out saying they're using these words are uh, illegal now. Someone come up to you in the street, called your nigger, you bang him in his face. He calls the police. Who gets in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they, they could say it's it's so funny because yeah. on um on Twitter and stuff like that, they like you said, they ban certain words. But yeah, you can what, still what, use, what 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 you can, you what words still... are what words are banned? <laughs> <laughs> nah, seriously. What's so what? you got you got a lot of the like LGBT ones. You can't say you can't say faggot. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't say, you can't say faggot, but you could say nigger. I know, yeah. That's a, <laughs> so, chaos. and people will say, "Yeah, um, yeah," but you can't use that word because you're not gay. Well, that's what Dave Chappelle said. Huh? Yeah. Dave Chappelle had a bit about no, that. but it's true. You can't use that word, but they let you use nigger on there. Mm. Why? Why did they let you use nigger on there? That's 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 the point I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say. Yeah. So they allow you to. You can't say you get you get blocked say for saying words. certain words about. And by the way, so no one thinks don't. I hate people saying, "Yeah, well, do you hate someone?" 
What about if someone says that they hate you for the colour of your skin, whatever, something like that? Mm. Well, there's black gay people as well. So yeah. I hate people to think when you say something like, I'm not, I'm, 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 I don't mean like, I'm saying, but that word's banned. Frankly. No, 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 no. That I word's banned. I don't, I, don't, I don't think anyone can actually hear what you yeah. said and, and think you're... No, no, you're I don't talking. care. But I'm, I'm telling you straight. <laughs> I don't care. Like, you, you can't say, you can't say faggot on Twitter, but you can say nigger. Yeah. That, just exp- explain that to me. Mm. So the people in control of that, they know. Of course, they know how to stop. That. Of course, you could. They they know how to stop. Why don't they stop? Because they but, don't want to stop. I was it. just about to say that. <laughs> like they, they know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, they and, don't want to stop. It. And it it's still it's it's all part of the bigger yeah. machine. You know, to just Soon divide as, and whatever. Of course, it is. It's got to keep you. Got people. You got to keep people thinking about certain people a certain way by doing different things. Back in the mm. day, they used to throw bananas. They can't do that anymore, so they start calling us na- different names. When they commentate now, they use. Net- oh, he's a big lad. Look at him. Mm. He's big and strong. I won't go near him. And pay some power. Like yeah, pay some power. <laughs> no <laughs> talent. Yeah. No, he he's got a lot of pace. Yeah, he's oh, look at this young lad coming up. I bet he's got a lot of pace. Don't even mm. know nothing about. It. He might be even the most skillful player. They will never say that. Like, never say that. It's always just like about strength. Blah blah blah. Never about talent. Trust me. You, would, when you watch football, watch the commentary. It's so plain and. I, pl- I watch football mute sometimes bro, mm. because I get really wound up when they're talking about certain players. We know it's there, but no one's no one wants to do anything about it. Who was it? Was it so um, I- Danny Mills one time? Yeah, it was definitely Danny Mills. Yeah, he was talking about an African player who chose to play for Nigeria. I forgot who it was. It was. Was it Iwobi? It might have been Iwobi because oh. I was watching the match. It might have been Arsenal match. It might have been Iwobi, but basically they were like. I was watching it and he goes, Oh, um, why would he play for Nigeria? Like it's it's a it's it's disappointing that he's chose to play for that country and not play like why would you're, you're talking about he was he talking about Wilford? Was it Wilford? He plays for Ivory Coast. And he goes, why would you go... Yeah, no, it might be it might yeah. have been Zaha. And it's just like, why would you not play for England where you've actually got a chance of winning something? Like what, what a chance. And I was just thinking, I, that's nonsense. Did he just say? Yeah. I, I think Nigeria I've done not won more than England in the last 50 years Mate, when, when he said that I was just like what yeah. why would you even come and say that because they don't count um, African, African combinations yeah. they don't see it Lord, you don't, don't, sometimes they don't they don't see it the same so they don't it's, that's what I mean them competitions and it's done with for everything everyone's plain to see it's just if you're awake to it mm. you understand it's like you, some people just want to, yep, they're just in that zone and they're just programmed to think a certain way and that's it. It's, I honestly believe a lot of people don't know they're doing it. Mm. I honestly believe that. No, it's conditioning. Yeah, yeah it's conditioned. It's, it's, it's conditioning that's that. Fine. But they don't know they're doing it, but I do because mm. it's what you've been taught to do. So. Yeah. How did you feel when you used to open up the paper? I just how they describe See, I never it. read pap- papers. Oh, is it? No. I can't remember last time. No. So... Um, I, you always get like people that always send you pictures or clips or something, uh, like of a thing. I'm like, yeah, whatever, man. It's mm. my, I carry on my day. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there reading nonsense. I think they've stopped. It's not as bad now, is it? I don't know. I just I haven't read so a paper in 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 ages. I haven't. I don't. I don't get involved. I know the last thing I saw in the paper was funny enough a racism thing when they threw a banana at Aubameyang last year, mm. the Tottenham <laughs> Tottenham fans, and then. On the front page of the newspaper, it was Lacazette doing b- balloons, which was from time of time. But if you find something negative, just to keep yeah. you, just to keep you thinking, oh, look, look, look! Don't forget what mm. just really happened. That's just that's what they, they they're very smart like that, but they're not smart to people awake to it. Mm. And then I, I'm not conditioned like that. I've seen a lot of things and know a lot of things. I've been in there, so I've seen it from my own eyes how things are made to see, how to get people to see things. So. Mm. I'm not. I'm not really a fan of all that. That one bit. How how did you um, approach post match interviews? Because you always you know say- the questions. You know what's coming. Depends how the game's going. It's just like it's just boring. What's, it's, it's like, I didn't even. Um, I got to a point. I'm just so happy that we got the three points. Yeah. It's, just, it's all about the three points. Yeah, we play really well. Got the three points. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to get on the school sheet today. Yeah. <laughs> what you really want to say? Yeah, man. We got, we done the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I scored. I'm happy now. I'm going out, my boys. That's what you're gonna say, isn't it? But yeah, yeah, you have to. You can't do that because you know you can't be real. So, 
But is that is that a thing that you just know that? Like, do they give you training on it? Like, uh, I don't, need, when you're first I don't think up? you need training on it. I don't think you need training on it because the games games go a certain way. Games go a certain way, and there's nothing more to it. And then, you know, I, I, well, if you, if you could train to like when you're doing personal interview, when they come to your house or whatever, mm. taking you out, maybe if you're doing a, you know. Doing it, doing it for four, four, two, or something like that. Then, then maybe you need a bit of training there. But then they just they, they can change it and say, well, mm. you know, pull it how you want anyway. So I, they got to a point when I was like, yeah, I'm sick of doing these, and I can't even bother to talk to them. The aftermath or just yeah, you know, just in general. In general there's, I, I think for about a couple of years I didn't like do any or something like that. So I need to spoke to. Yeah, was, is that because you you, you just just, to be fake or no? You did, I just you I was just sick of it. Like, it's the same question. Just, it's the same question, and I'm just like, yeah, I'll come bothered with this, and just I'm, that press guy will come to you early, or if so and so want to speak to you, I said, nah, I'm going home. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so and so want to do an interview, yeah, I'm not, mm. I'm not interested. Just like you get fed up of it, yeah. You know what I mean? Just, you just finished a lot of players. You just finished playing, and then you never got in the, now. They don't even get in the change room, do they? Sometimes. Yeah, they don't even so, show. Yeah, they don't. Still see the sweat in So still there sweating, and you want to put a screen in front of them now and. And give the players if they're smart now. When when it like hurricane, you shouldn't have done that thing the other day. Oh my! But I'm not gonna lie. I was so happy. It, yeah, it was good for Arsenal fans. Yeah, because, I was so happy because they had to watch him. Like, yeah, his contact. It wasn't a penalty, but you uh, you could see what he's trying to do, mate. Uh, it wasn't. It was a. It was. It was a dive. But, but do you know in, what? If that, if so, some cases you you'll get that, but. It's it's being he's being clever. That's all. It's no, being no, clever, it was but... definitely being clever, and yeah. I think a lot of refs would have given it. Yeah. And where's with the whole VAR thing? Where's got to be a clear and obvious error? I don't think that's clear no, and no. obvious. But did, where... did, I didn't watch again. Did he um blow up for it or not the ref? Or did he have to he have to watch it again? No, 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 no. He just said, said no, nah, no, no chance. Yeah. Oh, okay. He just said no, no chance and gave gave yeah. a goal kick. But when I was watching it, yeah, the interview, it was so awkward because. He, yeah. looked, he looked at it. There was one point he looked at it and you could see in his face it's like, um, yeah, yeah, this, this, this is, is a, bit, t- it's a bit it's a bit techie. <laughs> it's a bit techie. Yeah. Listen, every manager now should ch- just, just say to them, I don't know if I don't know if the contract with the TV you would know that I have they have to speak straight after. Mm. But one one thing is if I was in a you know, manager at this time, I would be like, right, nobody speak till we get in the change room. Yeah. Right? Have our debrief, whatever. But there might be a rule where the <laughs> the players have to speak straight away, but it's, it's crazy. It's but you know what's mad? No one called him a, a diver for that. Nah, no one called dive. him a diver. No one, nah, nah. It, no one wasn't, it wasn't. It nah, wasn't. No diving call. Ashley Cole dived. Um, Ashley Young. He's a diver, though, isn't it? A so diver, diver. But yeah, he's done it. How many times now? You okay? Yeah, come on. He, does, he does that all the time. Yeah, like, but he, they won't. He, they, he they, for the they will not use it. Your legs up. You watch and you watch and see. If he does it again, they, they, it won't be negative words. Like mm. I, told, I said to you, that's the fact. So that in football, that's what they do without people realizing. Yeah, there won't be negative words about him at all because he's England captain, and they can't have people thinking anyway. Other than that's it, our captain. We can't um, like put him down or say any negative words. That's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's, 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 it's the truth. That's the way it is. Then, but I just when people wake up to it, maybe then they'll change. That's just in football. I don't know because I think I think a lot of these um, like media outlets they need to almost go against the grain because it's too it's too easy. No, but then people might start liking other people. So that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to yeah. say. So. Like, it's not going to change because they all keep hiring the same people, all keep putting the same narrative out yeah. there. Do you get what I'm saying? Just putting bare clickbait out there and yeah. whatever. Whereas if they actually hire people who actually talk some sort of sense, mm. like, whenever they do hire people that talk sense, they're, they're not there for long. Yeah. They're not there for long. Yeah. Do, do you get what I'm saying? It's boring, isn't it? Yeah. Get rid of them. So. Do you get what I'm saying? That's that's just why I think what, what, when I've seen, so I've like looked in, I watch a lot of people's podcasts and uh, I think it's a brilliant thing because... It just lets people speak without you got you got you got five minutes to um, say what you got so you got two minutes yeah and stuff yeah. like that and you so you don't have to, you can relax and just talk mm. like, and I think what like, a lot of them are, what you guys are doing are brilliant I think and I know players would love to be able to come on here and mm. tell you what is what but that would not help them yeah so it's in, it's a, it's impossible you're not I don't think you're gonna 
break into that. Because they they have, they have to be they're programmed mm. and like the robots they have to say certain things mm. and can't tell you everything. So How much do you um, like advisors get in your head in regards to that? What you should say, what you shouldn't say. I don't. I I've, I don't think I've had anyone tell me. No, nah, no one's ever like come and told me. So My, even like your um, let's say, who's it, Sky? The cousin Sky, yeah. Yeah, like. They don't ever come and like, advise you like, look, don't do this, don't do yeah, that. Yeah, Sky did a lot. Mm. Sky did a lot, but Sky did that a lot. I, did, I didn't like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't, then, I'm, then I'm not being true to myself. Then I'm not being who I am. Mm. So I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't take me for who I am. I'm not. I, I help anyone. You know what I mean? I, I speak to anyone. I don't have any problem now. But when he's telling me certain things where I have to try and speak to these people I remember even when they, even one time he, he he tried to make me change boots just to get some money oh is so it so we get, we'll get more money whatever it was for, but was it a, a certain yeah. thing like if you change your boots this money comes yeah and you didn't from do it now. I said no I'm comfortable in these boots mm. he was in shock I was like well, what's wrong with you? He looked at me funny. He looked at me like, really? I was like, yeah, I'm I'm happy with my boots. Mm. I'm not going to change that for no one. I don't know. Why would you? And you stayed with the same st- thing for, the, yeah, for your stayed, whole career? No, I changed about five years later. Mm. Yeah, that's about it. That was it. I stayed, oh, so, yeah. you, so you went away from him um, at the end? Oh, of I left him. Yeah, I left him. Oh, after, okay, okay. after I moved to Middlesbrough, Cos left him and I went with Cos. That's how I went with him. Oh, okay. So, because I, do you... Do, do you look at it, look at it and, and and see that they kind of view you as like business, like money, as I opposed to you as a person? Well, he did. Well, as I said, I'm not going to speak bad about him, but he's, he, he does his thing. He's done well for himself. and But <laughs> I couldn't do that to people. Mm. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't be that guy. Yeah. I'm, it's not in my heart or it's not in my body to just like, take advantage of it. I can't do it. I'm mm. sorry. It's just not it's something I can't do. And But a lot of people do. Not just him. A lot. Of, hey, that's what it is, isn't it? So I'd rather see someone do really well and, you know, get little. Yeah. Or get nothing. Mm. It'll make me happy. But some people are not like that, which is, this is fair enough. It's a ruthless world. That you have to be like, but I could never take advantage of it. Just like that. Do agents try ever like, come and poach you? When you're a kid, you have about flipping 20 of them calling you up, mm. sending you boots or whatever. Did you take the boots? Yeah, yeah they send you boots to try and like uh, make you sign with them. I remember I signed with, to be fair to you, Rob, Rob was brilliant, one agent. Um, I signed with him when I went, like I was like 16, 15 or 16. Mm. I don't know, but I had him as my agent. And um, I, when I wanted to leave, he was like, yeah, no problem. Done my, done my first contract at... Crystal, and after that, we part ways and we stay friends. No, not friends, but speaking yeah. to her. So, yeah, but people like that, where he's, he's North London guy. So it's, 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 there is people like that, there, but yeah, there is some horrible ones as well. So, I'm not, I'm, I, I, I think footballers are starting to use their family members now. Yeah, a lot of them are. A lot of people are using mm. their family members, which is probably the best thing to do. Yeah. Not, they might not be experienced. I know family could hurt you the most, whatever, something. But I'd rather it come from a family member than yeah. some complete stranger. Mm. Yeah. So but I heard they're trying to stop that though. They're going to try. They, yeah. They're going to try and stop it by, you have to do the test now. Mm. Why can't they do that? And it's going to cost, what? Well, just get your your cousin or whoever that's playing to pay for it if they want to use the agent. Yeah. Isn't it? So, you know, they're gonna, I think there's a test and all that now and um, coming up in a couple of years or something like, yeah. just to stop so many people getting involved. I, th- I think that's what it is because yeah. a lot of these players and it's, it's big players as well, big players are starting to realise that these agents, they're taking all this money mm. like to do a job that they can just get yeah. someone, someone else in their in family, family and just keep in. Yeah, keep it different. Yeah, awesome. and the big wigs up at the top don't like that. They, they don't. No, yeah. no. But that's why some clubs, some clubs only deal with certain agents. Mm. Like a lot of people don't know that. So even if you got an agent, the club will have their agent go to your agent and tell, say that well, we want your player, but you have mm. to do it through me, and they'll make a deal between each other and stuff like. That. Come on, all that's mad. all that happens all the time. So when you go to some different countries, mm. like for example, if you go to Thailand, there's only about four or five agents that you can actually 
Get, oh, is it? Get, that you have to have a big go through to go to a club there. Mm. So, and China's the same. They use the they they use their agents, but they won't. You know what I mean? So yeah. they'll do it. They'll get the agent to do a deal with one. Say we're giving you this, but instead of them getting the whole lot, so it stays out there. So how how smooth is the whole deal process when you're moving? Yeah. So from when you hear about it to actually signing, is it literally uh, as soon as you sign in front of the? Oh yeah. So when you sign in front of the cameras, no, is that you? You've already done it. Yeah, you've already done it. Yeah. Oh, okay. You probably just have, or maybe the last piece of paper. Yeah. Because you, you have to sign, I think, four copies. Yeah. Mm. One for the league, FA, and whatever. So, so yeah. copy for yourself and club. Um, yeah, you when once you done you when the club accept the fee, the club your club will tell you. Mm. And literally, uh, my Swansea, my Swansea one took a week. I, I didn't train for a week. Mm. But they told me on a Monday. Um, I'm listening. No worries, man. Okay. They turn up on a. I turn up there on a Monday, and then. Was, they told they accepted a fee on a Monday. I didn't think I signed to the following mm. week because I, I had to pack my stuff, go back down, and then I got the call to come and do my medical. Med, medical took two days. Why is it so good? Because we finished the first part and the second part we couldn't do it because it got too late, so we had to wait till the next day. Me and Raleigh signed them the same, and I had to wait for for them Swansea to announce it. Mm. I had to wait for Wayne, but Wayne told me before he went. Nah, bro, I need to see if I can live here first. And he's been there nine years or eight years now. Yeah. So, and I had to wait for him to sign. Then they announced us both together and we played the same night. Yeah. <laughs> so once you put your signal on the thing, just put through your you've tra- transferred, mate. Oh, wow. So, and the whole negotiation thing, is it like, your agent says this team's interested. Do they come and say, how much are you looking? Or do you just leave them to just... Blah? Me, I've always left it because... Mm. Every contract I've gone, yeah, what's the offer? Yeah, cool, let's go. Boom. That's, I've never... You I, don't ever say it can be I think more. he's he's probably done it. I've, I trust him. Mm. I, I've, he's probably done it. I'm like, you know what? I just, like, when I've moved to Swansea from Borough, there's a chance to get back in the Premier League. So mm. I was like, you know what? I just happen to be back in the Premier League. So boom, whatever the offer is, boom, let's get down and let's get it done. So mm. we There's always going to be a better yeah, offer yeah, than... Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but still, I wasn't bothered. I was like, boom, let's get it done. Boom. Mm. Yeah, happy days. Does that, like, obviously going into your new business in terms of sports and entertainment, does it, like, give you that experience of knowing how to deal with people because of how... You, you would have liked to be dealt with. Yeah, I've got, I've got, other, I've got other people helping me though with mm. that. So, so, but I'm, I'm mainly gonna, I'm gonna be like proper hands. I'm going to, I don't know if I put someone in the show. I'm gonna go there and watch them and mm. take, take them if I have to or whatever. So, um, oh wow, you're press proper. Yeah, 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 proper hands. I want to be proper. I don't want to be sitting. Around. I want to be involved. Like, go mm. see someone to fulfill their potential or live their dream. You know what I mean? So that, that's what I want to do. So. How hard is it going to be to get into those, like, those spaces, though? Like It's hard work, bro. Yeah. That's, what's, that's the challenge, bro. That's the challenge, you know what I mean? So, mm. and you got you to set your standards, set your sights high and go for it. That's, mm. that's It's hard. It's going to be hard. Don't get me wrong, but everyone, I mean, start, everyone starts somewhere, bro. With, and you wouldn't yeah. be the first person to do it. Yeah, so. so I wouldn't be the first person to do it, but I know, I want to, let's, let's say in five years' time, it could be flying, so. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, no, you will, man. Yeah. You will. Um, wealth management. In football, do they give you that? Yeah. People to manage your finances and stuff mm, like oh, that. Oh, your agent, that's it. At my, well, my time anyway. I yeah. don't know how I'd, they probably got them now. Mm. Um, agent does that, like when I've got my houses and that. My agent. I think my agent's wife was the solicitor. She's a solicitor. So oh, okay. she did a lot. So I just kept. Yeah, just keep everything yeah, in the house, yeah, bro. Yes, yeah, so that was pretty easy, that one for me. Could you hear about a lot but of you don't, players don't, getting broke? You don't get no one. There's no one in the club mm. that was, they'll tell you, oh, there's, if you buy a new car or whatever, they'll have a look and all that, but they won't actually say anything. They mm. just let you get on with your life, which is which is not great, but I suppose if you're 18, yeah. 21, you need that, you know what I think? So... Mm. But yes, for my time, I don't remember. There might be now, but my time, I don't remember much of that kind of. Yeah, I was just saying, could you hear a lot of players like? Let me get, let me get one of them. <laughs> you hear a lot of players going broken. That yeah. do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, all the time. It happens all the time. But you have to. 
there's no one in clubs that do that. That, mm. that helps out players. So you just have to get on them. Because you're a footballer, well, mm. well, a footballer, did you used to get a lot of people coming at you like business opportunities and stuff like investing this, investing that? Mm -hmm. How do you pick which one you want to... Didn't get involved. <laughs> you're not on it? No. Didn't trust them. I did one time this guy... They're not a business. He's like he's he's getting holidays for us mm. for cheaper or something like that. Mm. So I sent him some money for me and my boys to go Miami. Mm -hmm. I think no, me and was it me and one of my me and one of my mates to go Miami. Um, got to place uh, Peggy to give him the money. It's, it's like half the price what I would have normally paid for mm. that trip. Got to the play, uh, airport. Bro, got, <laughs> listen, got, got on the plane. Oh, our names, got, on got on the plane. Oh, so okay. Our names on that thing, everything. And um, about 20 minutes before takeoff, uh, they come in. We we're sitting in um, business class. Mm. And um, they come up and go, um, uh, the, the, the company you used to book your holiday has come up fraudulent. I was like, yeah, what's that going to do with me then? Mm. <laughs> I, pay, I give them the money. So yeah. I was so, yeah, we understand that, but you you can't play, can't fly with us unless you pay the pay again. I said, "What? So, you can't fly with us unless you pay again." So I paid again, and we got there. Got to the hotel, right? Check in uh, two rooms, Mister Lee signs, blah blah blah. Um, ah, sorry, no rooms, <laughs> no rooms. We we'll booked nothing. I rang him up. I said, "Bro, what's going on?" I think. A lot of players had the same problem, I think, that with him. And the person, Darren, uh, not Darren Ben, Marcus Ben is, told me he's, he's, these people are cool. Like, I was like, all right, cool, I trust him, Benny. Benny's mm. cool. Uh, and um, yeah, the hotel one book, so I had to book the hotel again, blah, blah, blah. And uh, this guy's, I said, he's, I think he gave me like half the money back. And then he's been missing ever since. I never trust them people. And then, and then that's like, and then I found out for other players, he did the same and they had problems and they had fright and they had to pay again, blah, blah, blah. So, and, and I never trusted him. Do you hear about that guy, Mackendo, who took like uh, loads of players? That black guy? No, no. Um, no, he's from Bristol. He's a black guy then. He did, he did like, no, he was doing like a Ponzo, a Ponzo scheme or yeah, something. Yeah, some, like. yeah. Like, like this American though, he he disappeared off the playing planet, man. I swear, no. What did he do? He just took loads of players' money and he was spending it in Marbella, like fifty grand tables and shit like that, or something in Marbella. How did he get the money? Though? I think he told them to put into something. They're gonna get back so much a month and blah blah yeah, blah. Like they never seen, things. never yeah. yeah. Then it was same same, never seen it. So yeah, I've never read it. There's a lot of people that, yeah, you get loads of people asking you. I'm like, nah, I'm not, not interested in you. Like, mm. I don't trust them. So it's all right. A lot of things like that happened. Though. Yeah, that's all nuts, man. What would you lot, what would you say, yeah, looking back at your career, your greatest achievement was? Playing in the Premier League. Because mm. that was, that's my greatest achievement. Because uh, that's, that was my target from like when I first kicked the ball at 10 o'clock. First thing, uh, 10 o'clock, 10 years of age, 10 years of age. Mm. Um, I literally got in my room. My fav favorite player was just, I fell in love with Ian Ride. I just loved the way he celebrated. He didn't give a shit about just him. Ran. Just ran. <laughs> That's how I used to, I just yeah. love, just in, <laughs> enjoy one, it. There was one guy he scored. <laughs> just enjoy I need to find it on YouTube. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and from 10, I just went back home, put like every number eight in the Premier League up on my wall and I was mm. like right I'm going to wear number 8 in the Premier League one day oh is that why you wore yeah. number 8 yeah right I wore it because and that was my target and when I did it I was just I was just it's just the best day of my life when I on my debut I scored as well so did you came, meet um, right yeah yeah right yeah first time I met well he came when I was at Reading he came down looking for me but I had already gone see I'm one of them in the show it was a we played Man United on a mm. Tuesday night yeah and I was going to someone's birthday party and uh, my mate said, so I got in the shower quick out of there. But then uh, when I came in the training on the Thursday, they said, oh yeah, Ian Wright came down looking. I went, nah, man, no way. Steve Koppel knows him well, isn't it? And I was mm. like, oh man, why didn't you tell me? And um, But I got to meet him in in London properly a few yeah. years ago, like face to face. We sat down and had food and chat. He's telling me some stories and... um. 
giving me some advice and stuff like that. And mm. I've seen him a few times since. Yeah, he's he's an amazing guy. So he's an amazing guy. So. I met him once, yeah. Yeah. And like when I met him, just oh, is that the goal? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the... <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> What's it? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Overhead kick. Yeah. Oh, he hurt his hip as well, man. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. You read it. It's considered very... <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it. It wasn't that good when I jumped on that kit, man. Yeah, man. I just like, like let's love it. Just that's yeah. what I mean. I don't know. When I watch four, it breaks my heart when I see players scoring. They're not celebrating, man. Mm. They just like, oh, I'm like, come on, man. It's the best feeling in the world. Celebrate properly. Even if uh, you celebrate. Oh, would, listen, would you, if my mum wasn't go, I'll shoot, I'll score, I'll <laughs> celebrate, brother. And my mum can't walk, brother. I'm yeah. celebrating. <laughs> would you would you score? I mean, would you celebrate against your old team? I just, um I celebrate against Bristol because they were giving me stick. They were like, I they, I left them good to I've yeah. done well for them. I scored goals and they got a million pounds from a player that rang you yeah. to get a trial. Yeah, they got a million pound for the club. Got a million from a player who rang your club for a trial. Mm. Come on, man! You got to say fair play to you on your back. Yeah. Wish you the best. But when I went over there, booing me, they were booing me. And I was Did like, you run? And- we played. We won four and I scored two. And um, the first goal, there was so much abuse was coming from there, and I just took my shirt off. Right now, <laughs> celebrated with our fans, and then went to the corner and just give them, give them that or something. Mm. Come on, it's, that's the whole. That's why you play football. Yeah, there are moments there. That moment, no one. If you unless you know the feeling, you play, you mm-hmm. play. You, you know the feeling when you score a goal. You know, I, I mean, ain't scored in a while, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. But yeah. that's, as I said, it breaks my heart when I've watched players and they don't even come on, man. Where's that passion? Mm. Come on, where's that? It's the most enjoying part. They get enjoyment. Oh, come on, man. I love when I score, score goals. That's the best part. It's so mad because hearing oh. you talk about I can see that you yeah. just absolutely love People, it. I'm telling you, mm. you don't understand when I watch players and they don't celebrate. Oh, I want to cry for them, mm. man. Like, how are you not enjoying that? It's just the best feeling in the world. From a kid, you dreamt to that. Come on, enjoy every single one of them. Yeah, I think uh, he said that. We had Jermaine Defoe on our, on yeah. our pod, the live one as well. And he was saying from when he was young, that was all like he's eating right as well. Yeah, he, he said he used to see it. So, mm. like he's he's that's still all he grew up loving yeah. scoring. Yeah, and whenever he scored, no matter who it's against, no don't, matter what, don't care. He's running and celebrating in training, celebrating mm. everything. Yeah, trust. But I used to celebrate in training, bro. <laughs> I didn't care. I was celebrating training. Yeah, but when it like. I remember uh, my teammates used to get upset and I'm like, why is he was, I'm like, yes, I know it's not a game, but it's habits. Yeah, 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 come on, man. I'm enjoying it. Wally, Wally, one of those sister managers used to say to me, that's a good thing. And Steve Coppers said, I mean, no, you love it. Just do what you're doing. Mm. Like, encourage it. There's nothing wrong with that. As I said, if my mum was in gold, bro, I'm pinging it top bins, I'm celebrating. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Trust me. What's your, um, your favourite goal that you scored? Favourite one, most memorable one was probably for my, for the 21s mm. against Holland in my debut. Uh, just, why? Because it's not a great goal, it's like a header from about six year old out. Mm. <laughs> um, no, just after, I had a message from like family members and that, because they couldn't be there, just left me a message that said they all watched it and they were proud of me and yeah. that meant a lot. So yeah, Best goal I've ever scored. I still can't find it on the net. Like, technically and all that was for the 21s against Slovakia mm. at Norwich. I find can't it. find this goal anywhere. I'm going to find it. Bro, bro, I can't find it anywhere, man. We won 5-0, I scored the 4th or 5th. I mm. can't find this goal anywhere. If my, I had a one contact that's uh, Sky, mm. and uh, I don't think he's there anymore. And um, he, he wouldn't be able to get it from me. I can't find it anywhere. I tell the truth, did you really score this goal? Huh? Did you really score this goal? Bro. <laughs> Listen, if if anyone else really scored that, bruv, yeah. or someone someone of a higher like sta- um world class, like, they would be raving about it. Mm. I thought it was sick. You please find it. If, if you're good on I'm, the I'm internet. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to look for it. It's against Slovakia for the 21. I only scored six goals for the um, 21s and I think it was my f- third or something. Mm. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm desperate to find that one. Desperate to find that one. No, I'm definitely going to find it for you, man. But um, what would you say, like, 
If I, no, before I ask that question. Yeah. In terms of coming away from football, yeah. we often hear a lot that players like struggle, like whether that be mentally or whatever. Mm. Like, did you ever have to like go through any yeah. of that? Yeah, for I think towards the end, I think... I think, I think you like it's like you get fed up of being being a robot, and like when you have to like really think about things, you you struggle with it. Mm. Um, it's just the being uncertain, like don't know what's the, you know what I mean. If you mm. don't have a, I did always have a picture, but when you when it comes down to it, it's like you you know in your mind you still a, you want to play football, you are still a yeah. footballer, but. You, you're fighting against like admitting it's time to give up. Yeah. I just, I did it. I've been, I'm, ah, how can I pull it? Yeah, it's been, it's, it's been tough like, but it's, once you get over that, you're not, mm. not playing anymore. Because when people come up to you, who are you playing? Who are you playing for now? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It gets draining. And it's just like, Oh, just leave me alone. Man. I'm yeah. trying to deal with this myself. Like, mm. but it's no, no one's meaning for some yeah. people might. And no one means in a mean way. But, yeah, you just get fed up with that and then you just have to be honest with yourself and say, you know what? It's now it's time to move on in life because it's taking too much energy at what you mm. could be using on something else. I I be that's how I feel about it. Since I've said I've retired from professional football, people were like, oh, okay, oh, like you, I get calls from you guys mm. like yourself saying, oh, do you want to come and talk to us and we give, give, give some knowledge back mm. about what we, be, what we experience. And it makes you feel good. You know what I mean? Instead of just sitting there thinking to yourself, what am I do, what, what's happening? Why are people asking me? They're just like yeah. ramming, ramming through your head all the time. So just go and chat to people. You know what I mean? It's easy to close off to everyone or try and, that's the worst thing to do. Yeah, I think, just I think go and speak, man. I think that's the mistake a lot of people make. They feel like it's almost as if, it's not the end people, of the world. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> you're not really in it yeah, by yourself. Yeah, you're not. But you're, you feel like yeah, you you feel like you are mm. in it. So no, that's just, as, as, as you just speak you to out. people. People respect you more, and mm. and trust me, like going out to help these kids and all that. Train with Ralph. Mm. It's just because they listen to you. Yeah. Remember, the, it's because you've, you've done it. You've done it, and mm. you have to respect that the fact that they, they got they they're taking in they they like we've got someone who's actually played a game yeah. or no disrespect to the coaches or some of them are brilliant, you know, don't get me wrong. But when some of those, when kids or young people are getting someone that's actually been through mm -hmm. what they want to do, they're going to listen a bit more, you know what I mean? So when you see their eyes just bright up, yeah. bruv, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Like you can give them your knowledge and hopefully, as I said, the next few years, we can push a few of these boys into the league and because mm. yeah, some of them, it's just, it's just that, it's just a confidence and like, you know what I mean? You just just work you know on what a I find few. What, what it is as well with a lot of a lot of people across all all aspects, it's just being given that chance as well. Yeah. So you, a lot of people like you've probably seen guys with the most amount of talent. Yeah. But it's just about giving them that. Listen, I've, I've put I, your spot on there. Growing up, my Sunday league team, I was not the best player. Mm. No, trust me, I scored scored my goals. That's what I cared about. But we had so many players are thinking raw. Yeah. So they got I can you wouldn't you, they'd even play a league game and it's just like one player that's always stuck in my, my mind, um jo, my friend Josh Kinsella. Bruv, he's an Arsenal fan. He's he's an Arsenal fan, mad mm. Arsenal fan as well. He is the most talented what like he's the most talented in that team by far. He yeah. was just ripping things up for us. He made everything happen. But it takes commitment. You, mm. you know what I mean? You got you got to commit your your whole life. It's not just when you're training. You commit from that age. You have to commit your whole life. And it's difficult when you get to eighteen. You know your friends are going out, girls get involved, mm. you're going to clubs and blah blah blah. You have to dismiss all that. Like literally, just go boom. I need to be in my zone. I know what I want to achieve. Even my youth team, like I think only f f two or three of us went pro. Yeah, like, I know it's like happens it, not just getting to the professional club it's even harder when you get there because yeah. you're trying to get to the first team and all that and then the numbers are even when you get to the youth team I think they say by the time you're 21 
only one or two of you will make it through to the first team and, and have a career. And I'm not talking about people play three games and mm. it's, it's say they, they play professional. Okay, cool, you have, but it's, it's, it's a bit more than that. A career is a bit more than that, you know? Yeah. Professional one, anyway. Oh, that's... That's a lot to take in, man. Yeah. That's a lot. How, how did you feel so very quickly when, no, okay, when you realised that um, you wasn't going to make it at Chelsea? I thought, like, when we got told, Jesus Christ, we were training at Canterbury. We got to 16 and I think one of my, a couple of boys went in. The player, I was like, I'm in trouble here. The player who didn't lose Toza, I thought he's a sub because they're pushing him, pushing him, pushing mm. him. He came out like in tears. I was like, rah, well, you didn't get it. Like, no. I was like, he well, played football somewhere else though, didn't he? No, no, no. No, you're thinking of someone else. He didn't play pro. I think he might have played at Bromley. He's from Bromley. Yeah, so, not, yeah. You know Lewis Talk. Yeah. He's at Chelsea with me. Yeah. How old are you? 31. Yeah, he's my, my age. Yeah. He's still playing now? No, nah, he didn't play. I didn't, didn't, didn't play pro. Lewis Toza, um, he came out. So I was thinking, I'm going in next. And uh, it's a Thursday night, I remember it. And then they said, oh, yeah, we're not taking you on. And guess what? They said, you're too small. And I, I know it's bullshit, right? Mm. Right. Anyone who's played with me or worked with me any point <laughs> in my career... I beat most people in there. Yeah. Most people, six, four, seven, whatever, most players in there I beat. Mm. So I was thinking, I was batting it, batting, battering everybody at that age. I'm, I'm like, too small? What's, what's that about? Yeah. So you got Leo Knight in the youth team. I'm, He's smaller than me. You know what? <laughs> we're gonna yeah. we're gonna touch on Leo Knight in a second. <laughs> No, no, Leo Knight, you got Leo Knight in this like because that that summer, our last year, we played against the youth team at Cobham. Mm. It was the under 16s, we played the under 19s. We yeah. beat them 3 0. I scored two. Knight he didn't play, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was probably with the first. How training. good was he, Knight? Um, listen, when I was at Chelsea, we were doing a finishing session with um, Jim Duffy. Like, he made me, like, what I was doing. Me and him were doing a finishing set with Jim and he he, was, he went first. Listen, he just made every shot. I think we must have had about 10 shots each. Mm. Every one of us, every one of them we scored. Both of you. And he was always going first. Yeah. So it was The pressure like, was on you. All the time. Listen, he was so sick and so like, if the, that's the player you push, is uh, people question his attitude and all that. But why didn't you push that talent instead of trying to, uh, telling people about this well don't talk to certain people in a certain mm. way Yeah, you know what I mean you don't talk about people in a certain way don't talk to him because he, he's not one of them you can tell he's not a yes man you know yeah. what I mean he's not going to yeah. sit there and nod he's oh well, you're in training he's not going to be there yeah 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 yeah. you know what I mean mm. he'll say what he thinks and then someone piss him off and piss him off straight up what's, what's the problem but at the end of it all he'll tuck yeah, and he'll tuck <laughs> and he's a finisher trust me Leon Knight is like He's, he's a talented player, man. Mm. I loved him because I remember at Chelsea, he used to, I, I, I was a kid, I was I used to have two days off school a week to go and train with the first team of Reses. Mm. So, and he used to always drop me out at the train station after because no one else, all these big players in their big cars, yeah. they did not want to give a little 15 year old a lift to the station around the corner about Leo Knight, did it? You won't hear about that though, will you? Mm. You hear about all the negatives and stuff like that. Yeah, but I can get like, and I don't understand. I know why people are because he's outspoken and mm. he'll say what you don't want to hear. And a lot of people don't like when you say something. Mm. Say something that they don't like. They, they, they just they think bad of you. No matter what, you know, no matter what. you tell them the truth, they don't want to hear it. So yeah. he don't really play to that. Oh, I want to be like you know what I mean. It's nonsense. Yeah, and nah, there is one thing about him. I might not always agree with what he says, but he always says what's on his mind. Yeah. And he just says it how it is. You see what, like, you should get try and get him on. I'll, I'll speak to him for you, but... Um, no, that he, is hard, man. No, he's, no, he's not. He's, what they, they did... You know what, what they did to um, some another podcast, put him on, and they absolutely made him look like an idiot. So... Is that the... Yeah. What, was that a recent one? Yeah. It was not long, that long ago. And, now he, and they're sitting around the table. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, um, he wasn't happy about it. I spoke to him after. I said, bro... This guy's like, nah, nah, I've been texting him trying to say, nah, nah, take my thing off on him because they edited it to make him look like an idiot. But yeah, that, I, I didn't, I didn't really like that one. Yeah. It's, it was almost as if like, it was like, dance for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they, that's what they, yeah, they knew what they were doing. Do you like, get what I'm saying? So, same thing. I didn't like that one. Yeah, but, but I didn't know. That's Leon. He ain't, he ain't, 
Mm. He's a he's, he's funny guy, man. He's like he don't mess with no one. He mm. chills with his family, and that's him. Don't yeah. bother no one. Trust me. He, he's, to, be, he's, to be fair, he does tweet that like, he says how. Like everyone gets triggered by what he says, and he's just can't in his house. Just, yeah, just, 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 <laughs> he's bored. Just tweet. You see all these people kicking off writing essays, like man. trying to cuss his out. <laughs> to Did be honest, see? I'm just gonna go play with yeah. my kids, man. <laughs> Did you see the other week with the Geordie Shaw lot? Uh, oh, that guy. What? No, the, the, the girls. The, the he was he was just they were trying to come for him, and he was just guying at them about their lip fillers and yeah. and all of this. And... It's true, though. <laughs> I told you, people don't like hearing the truth. Right, that's another thing, man. It's, it's, it's like, he's got daughters, so mm. he, that's why he, he's like, I don't want him going to school. I don't want him going... They're heroes. People's heroes now. I think I've heard kids like say, oh, when I grow up, I want to be on... I want to be on Towie or yeah. Love Island. I'm like, what? Is that your dream in life? To... Really? This is a problem as well. When you promote it, okay, it's good for entertainment, which is scripted anyway. Mm. So it's not even real. But people believe it. Yeah. So I don't watch none of them things at all. I think it's nonsense. Like, but for little girls and that, I don't want the people get, girls get, it makes women are more uncomfortable when they, when they, mm. they think lip fillers or fake bum make you more attractive. No, a guy will probably just want to shag Wait, you quick. That's, that's about it. But they don't, they don't get that. <laughs> they don't get that. They don't get that. One bit they think, oh, you're looking at us, yeah, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to wake up to that every day, would you? Mm. So people, that, that's that, when people say they like that shit, they probably just want to shag them and they will never want to see them again. I always say, yeah, yeah, as well, yeah. Like, a lot of the people you see, like, who are, like, beating these things, yeah. If you look at the girls they actually end up with, they're normal looking. yeah. Normal girls. Beautiful. Natural's, yeah. natural's beautiful, man. Do you get what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Natural's beautiful. You just, uh, people need to promote that more. You don't need none of this stuff. Come on, look at the damage it's doing to a lot of people. And it looks horrendous. It looks like you've been punching them out, man. I think Leon said that. And because it's the Geordie Shaw lot, they got like a million followers, blah, blah. You had all of these people trying yeah, to come cool, yeah. In. How dare you? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah, but that's, the, that's what I mean. You, how do people get oh, that stupid? I know. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Like, how would you? Why would you do that? Anyway, each day own, man. You do your thing. You want to put t- things in your lips. Your problem, not mine. Trust me. <laughs> but um, we'll wrap up on like, what has uh, football given you? Like, and if there was, if there was, if you could, would you go back and like change anything? Um, football's been amazing because I've been able to. Meet a lot of people, mm. go places I've never thought of, I've never dreamt I could go, and just, just like, I had to, the, the fans of everything, everything to do with like the fans, the noise, mm. just, just things like that. I always stick with me. Um, it's given me confidence, right, to be able to, you know, I was quite a shy kid. It's given me confidence to. Speak to anyone, especially because mm. you meet people from different, learn bits of different languages and stuff mm. like that. So it's giving me the chance to play abroad and, and uh, just so many experiences that, you know, it's, it's like a lifetime's worth, yeah. you know what I mean, in one, in one career. But I know I can live the rest of my life now. And I've got understanding of, I think I've got more understanding of people. I'm, um, I'm more patient. Mm. Um it's to, I think football has taught me not it's probably it's taught me like to be more I don't know it's taught me to be independent and like just because I've always travelled by myself wherever yeah. I've played it's always been m- most of the time it's been m- by, by myself um, but uh, I don't know it's just a boy's dream man you know what I mean so yeah. you can't really there's loads of things you could pick on and I could, uh, I will miss it, but for a little bit and then we'll move on. It's so crazy because hearing you say it, bro, like it's like just, I can almost see you like thinking back to it and it's, it's just, just like raw. Like, has it actually hit you yet? Like, yeah. Yeah. I've, don't worry, I've had my moment. When okay. I'm in, I've had my moment when I'm like, woof, it's done. Yeah. Bit of tear and I'm going, oh. yeah, it's cool. Um, but I know I needed to do that to be able to, Move on to the refresh my life and move on and mm. I thought I feel because I've I think 
looking at the opportunities I get coming up and the places that I can go and help out people. And you know what? I've always helped a lot of people. Yeah. But to see someone, to see people like really take it in, mm. it's like, oh, you did do all right. You know what I mean? You had a good career. Yeah. It's like uh, I was reading um, people, Kane in Michael, Michael Owen's career. I'm like, why is he even responding? Did you see what, like, yesterday? Like, I, no, I seen something. I was like, why are you? I don't get that. No, I'm not. I'm talking. Why are you even? Because obviously you put a book out or whatever. Yes. I'm like, why are you even responding? Anyone question your career? If your career was shit, 90% of footballers' career is dead. You know mm. what I mean? So come on, man. You don't need to say nothing. Um, yeah, so that was funny. Anyway, him and Shearer kept beefing each other. But yeah. you can't, you're never going to win with Shearer. He's Mr. Newcastle. So whatever he says, you're just going to get the rest of Newcastle on you. Yeah. So you might as well just leave it. Because then they're, they're only going to think in one way. There's no argument there, is it? So, so, you're going to think I'm mad, but yeah. I didn't rate Owen after, 20, yeah, but, after 22. Uh, come on, you play for Liverpool, Real Madrid. No, no, no. no. Man United. I didn't rate him as... Everyone else put him. Yeah, I, I just felt like now when he came on the scene, come on. Yeah, yeah I just when felt he, like he after twenty two. When, 22, I, I felt when like he, he when he bit. came on the scene, come on. Was, if he a lot of injuries, he had a lot of injuries, but mm. he still scored what two hundred goals. Come yeah. on, man, that's it's not a bad career, mate. No, I, I don't think he had a bad career. Played for two of the biggest teams in England. And I think the, if the anyone says he had a bad career, they don't know football. Yeah, I think I think I, that's why I said he shouldn't even respond. Don't let no one question the career. He's more than average, but he's more than a, a bit better than the average player, mate. <laughs> so, yeah. Was that before your time? No, I, mean, it, I played against. It I played been. against Owen. Yeah, I played against Owen. Yeah, you, you must okay. have. Yeah, I think I played against Owen. Yeah. Do, do you play against any of the, any of the invincible lot? No, Henri. Oh, you played against Ori. Yeah. What was that? Like? Fabregas was he invincible? Yeah. No, no Fabregas. No, he's coming through. He must have been. Yeah. Cole he's coming through. Cole Ashley Cole was. Yeah. Mm. Who's at the back? Torre. How good is Ashley Cole though? The best ever. I don't know. He's the best left back ever. I think he's um. He doesn't get enough credit for what, how good he was because oh, yeah. of Cheryl. Unreal. Because of what happened with Cheryl. All the credit, all the credit ability went out the window when um. If, I just think they just done him dirty, man. Like, even when that, that last even when Bex, World Cup. Remember when Bex? That went quiet, didn't it? When he cheated on you. Yeah. Rebecca Luce or something. Yeah, yeah that's the one. <laughs> yeah, that was brushed on the carpet. <laughs> Rebecca Luce. That was brushed on the carpet. Yeah, oh, flipping up. But yeah, no, that, yeah. that actually got... Actually got the one that The one that, that did it for me was when they were kind of... You know, it was a debate of whether to take Baines over him. And it took Baines... And Luke Shaw and left him out. Yeah, I think that was towards the end, though, wasn't it? But he was still was, the best. Yeah, still, still better than them. Yeah, at the time. But that thing that, well, it, did he have to? Did he retire after that? He said he retired after. Well, I think he retired. They probably, the talk, the they probably talked him into it. Or I don't know. Do you know um, what happens? They talk you into it. Well, he, he could have still played at time, right? Mm. <laughs> he could have still played. Rooney was going to get faded out, so it's like, uh, come on, mate, time yeah. to call that day. Do it on your time so you, it doesn't look like we're leaving you out of the squad all the time. Right? So, oh, very quickly, I wanted to ask you this one. Yeah, who was one of the like who's the best centre back you played against? Mm. Um, Vidic, who sticks to mind, didn't give me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the headlock, yeah. Sugar. Listen, oh, yeah, I, I think. Yeah, Vidic, when, when, the first time we played Man United, well, the first time I played, yeah, Vidic played the first time. And the second time I played against Man United, Old Trafford, he didn't play. Mm. I was buzzing. <laughs> and I, bro, it was Sylvester and Ferdinand at the back. So I just played on Sylvester. I, I got my chance in there and scored as well. And yeah, but Vidic, I was, I was so happy. I don't know, was he injured? Or? He wasn't there anyway. Mm. You could tell the difference. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. When we played him. Even I, with Rio on the pitch? Rio was a baller and it did, yeah. listen, Vidic don't give you nothing. Like every, bro, I'm good in the air. I'd probably say that's probably the only player I've never beat in the air. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I was not, I don't know. He just probably, he's just ruthless. Always there, just give me nothing, bro. Absolutely. And he's tough as well, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely zilch. Zilch. Now, I remember that first game, I was like, I got off my mark and all that. I was like, oh, fuck, this is going to be tough, isn't it? Mm. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but we drew, we drew that game. Oh, is it? Yeah, we, we, got, we got a penalty. It was 1-1. The first time we played Man United. That Back game. in the day, it must have been daunting. 
like, morning. Going to Old Trafford. Not really. It's exciting, isn't it? Mm. It's like, it's just, nah, man. Old, but it's quiet. Mm. It's quiet. Like everyone expects the them crowd that at Old Trafford is yeah, quiet. Mm. That that um, Old Trafford is proper proper dead quiet. So yeah, there's nothing there. Like then, say rent. No, go on, go on. Yeah, it's like Emirates, Old Trafford, Chelsea's all right. Uh, atmosphere can get a bit. Um, it's always the smaller clubs. It, there's always the noise. The, the, mm. Like which one was one that you just the fans were just long. And it what was do you mean? Hostile. I used to get abuse at uh, QPR a lot. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Where? Oh no! I think I turned them down when I went borough. Mm. I think there was because Sky said they off made an offer at last minute. And I went. I was already on a train to borough or something like that. Mm. And I, every time I played, I got abuse. I was like. I don't know. I got no connection to this club. What's going on? Mm. I scored a couple as well, so I just thought, okay, maybe because I celebrated in front of them, and I got booked to give him that and to give him the shush. What about the the Reading fans? How, how were they towards you? Oh yeah, I got on really well from day one. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, they're brilliant to me. To be fair, even when I went on loan, I remember my last year there when I came back from my loan in Norwich. Mm. The reception I got when I came on was against Watford. I remember it's like ah. Oh, they do, they do, they do. At least they loved me. Yeah. <laughs> Even though the managers don't want to play me, I came on and then they just went mad and I scored as well. My return, yeah, that was a nice feeling. The Reading for Bristol fans, I said they were brilliant to me because I was a young kid, seventeen, breaking into for my first game like against Blackpool, my, my debut. I came on. They, you know, do you know um, Liam Rosinia? Yeah, yeah. He, I was, I was going to talk about him actually yeah. when when you were talking yeah. about um, people in that they don't push. Yeah. Because have you heard him do his, his punditry stuff? Yeah. He's so good. Really? Well, you, you don't like him? Ah, come on, man. He knows football, man. He's saying, uh, yeah, of course he does. He should know football. He knows he's football, playing. right? And, and he, nah, he speaks he, a lot of sense. Nah, he does. He does he, he's one of the better ones. Um, But yeah, I don't, I've don't. i not seen too much, but what I've seen, he's done really well. Who do well. you actually like, though? Pundits. Pundits? Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't look up to them. I like it when Mourinho talks. Ah, oh, have you heard him recently? Yeah. No, I like he's, him. he's just... I like him when Mourinho talks. Yeah, no, Mourinho. You, but he's, he's a he's, proper man. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not... Like, he's he's not... He's not... Um, I like it when Mourinho talks. I think he's brilliant. He's not He's not like... He's he elite, nothing's though, personal. He's just talking about the game. And yeah. How, and he loves yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Mourinho, now they got him on. I, I, I respect him a lot. Yeah, yeah no, definitely. Mourinho is. Yeah, Liam, 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 I wouldn't be surprised with Liam. He'll be a, a top coach. What was, what I was saying about the Bristol fans, and I was saying, when I first came on, Liam, Liam's dad used to play for Bristol, and his mm. name's Leroy. Yeah, Leroy. So they gave me his song, mm. innit? So as soon as I came on, and uh, yeah, he's. Um, his dad does punditry as well on BBC or something. Yeah, and on Eurosport sometimes Eurosport. he does. Yeah, I think he does right, a lot of the when it uh, like African nation games. He does yeah. that. He's been doing that for years though. Mm. Did he not get an MBE the other day for his his dad? Got he might have actually. Yeah, he might have. Yeah, I think he got MBE the other day. So, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, man. When did Dicko, when did Dicko in? <laughs> Where's Dicko in again? I told you, Dicko. Well, you know what? Where's my phone actually? <laughs> it's I'm not far from here, is it? Where's he now? Um, what playing? Where's he, where does he live? Uh, south somewhere, like near oh. them Woolwich Kent bits. Oh yeah, like, out the way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Dicko's yeah. got that money, bro. He lives. Um, where does he live again? Near, is he still? Yeah, yeah. He lives outside, isn't it? Yeah, he's he's. You know, that guy's gone, bro. Out of out of ends. Let me see if he's going to pick up. <laughs> they don't pick up. I think he's got, he's got his P training team. PT, yeah. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Nico. What's going on? You're on the podcast, bro. <laughs> That's really good. No, man. Say hello to, to, to your bridge, bro. Yes, Nico. What's happening, bro? What's going on? You good, yeah? What's going on? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm good, man. Just here, innit? Just here. Just been here a couple of hours still. It's decent. So it's nice yeah, to yeah, it's not nice, bruv, come in. It's nice to talk freely, bro. You can say what you want, man. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trust me. Express yourself. Info. I just told him, man. 
about the racist chance man was getting in Serbia and that's what I'm saying. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, man. I hear that. I hear that. So, <laughs> when you, though, yeah? yeah, man. I'm all right, man. I'm all right, man. You should have come on, brother. It would have been banner, me and you. Yeah. Man, I, told him, I said to him, like, I, I, I was wanted to focus on you. Oh, okay, okay. Story, he's me, it, but uh, okay. Obviously, on, on, his, on his other one, I think we should definitely, definitely get on yeah, it together. Bro. All right, man. We have it. Definitely, man. We'll catch up soon anyway, right? All right, brother. Respect. All right, All right, All right Dick, I'll show you. All right, bro. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, man. Good guy, man. Yeah. Funny enough, he's the one that got me into it. Into my, um, my first club. Yeah, was you was you pro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where at? So I was at Watford, Wickham, Gillingham, like yeah. Nigeria. You played in Nigeria? Yeah. How was that? Yeah. Not long. Nah, it, it was it was it was long. No, but to, to, if I'm being really honest, mm. um in regards to I don't know, yeah, if I'm being really honest, in regards to talent out there. There's loads. Loads of talent. Yeah. But it's just they're just raw. Just they, they're, they're just, they're just, yeah. You see, which, don't say them words. Which is, see, now you have to adapt. What, the raw? The really raw is the word. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is raw. I know they're raw. And, and, and the <laughs> thing is, it's when I got, when I got out coaching, there, isn't it? the reason why I did so well out mm. there is because I've been coached. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like I'm better than them. Yeah. I've never been like the best on the team yeah. ever. Where, where what I've position been. do you play? Like I was left mid, but then when yeah, I broke my leg, it. yeah, when I broke my leg, I went left back, and now I'm left back centre back. I've done that. Too. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah. So, but where I was coached, like movement kills them. Yeah, it was killing them out there. But ability, passing, left foot, right foot, and dribbling, dribbling, ah, oh, finishing. It's yeah. Oh man, it was. I how, just, long was how long was you there? Yeah, year and a half. Yeah, yeah. How long? How, when, how old are you when you start? 26, 27. 26. Yeah. So you played a little bit then, didn't it? Yeah. That's, a, that's yeah. not like a two minute thing. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I was, I was there for a minute. I just finished um, a documentary out there as well. Just now? Yeah. So I went out there in April, April, March. I mean, April, May. And I did um, a documentary. So it's just basically going to show what life is like for professional football out there. So I went to my old club compared to professional footballers here. And just gonna look at lifestyle over yeah. there and just bring it back to Africa, man. Yeah, that's, you know what I'm that's saying. Mad. So, but yeah, when that comes out, hopefully you'll be there. But yeah, guys, um, hope you've enjoyed. Remember, tickets for the live show are mm-hmm. out now, 27th of October. Um, I don't know if Leroy can make it. That Where day. is it? It's in. It's at Sink London, so Where it's that? at Old Street in Central. So what day? You, what day is that? It's on? a Sunday. Sunday. Oh, yeah. I could make that. If you can make it. If yeah, you can I'll make come, it. And, come and support, man. See what you're doing. Might, might put you on the panel, to be honest. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys. So tickets available at Shubs. If you've been to the previous two, you know how good it is. You know, we're still going to line up an, another special guest. So you've got Lyle Taylor from Charlton, Daniel Carter from Arsenal, and Peter Odomwingi. It's Peter Odomwingi. So um, yeah, you've enjoyed, yeah, Lee? Yeah, man, it's brilliant, man. Thank you for the opportunity, brother. No, that's cool, man. But yeah, guys, we're out.